podcast. This is full coverage with your host. Manny MUA. Laura Lee. Lee and a special with it. guest. And a very special very. guest. Very special. Very. We have Tyler Williams, my loving husband. That's right. The sweet angel. The sweet angel. At times. The sweetest. At, At times. times. Because Manny be seeing you act up. I've been seeing up. you act up before, 100%. But sometimes Manny needs to be act up on. Oh. Manny, oh. it's not even to me. You're acting up on Laura. And I'll be like, Manny. I'm the angel, actually. I'm the child of I'm them, like, too. I'm like, Manny, wow. he's saying this. Yeah. You need to tell him to stop being <laughs> Laura mean. Laura definitely needs to be acted up. Laura on. literally always be like, Manny, tell Tyler to stop right now. Y'all saw, <laughs> y'all saw so the true. Christmas tree video with it falling over? That's the drama. That's what. <laughs> Laura, oh. to you, my know, defense. I, you know, I just showed my family that video, and they literally were not well. They were laughing so hard. My mom and my brothers were like, because you're like, oh, <laughs> It's that part and the drama from Laura died. Let me tell you, I will bring you the think drama. I'm fucking the whole. Listen I to my defense in that video. I had no idea I was being recorded. <laughs> I didn't oh, sign so you're, any waivers. Got it. And she just released that without <laughs> I my did. So you're going to fake it on camera. You're gonna you're gonna camera. Say? Yeah. Wow. So for that Christmas, it is a famous Christmas video. Should I post it as a reel? I think you should. 100%. Okay, I've, I'm going to post it. I thought you posted it as real reel. I did as a TikTok. Me? Okay. So what it was is I was vlogging a little time lapse of me putting up the Christmas tree. Mm-hmm. And that's how I got all the footage. <laughs> and then when I was watching the footage back, I was like, this is gold. It's happened. gold. It's like gold. this kind of content right here because it's so oh, real. Also, it's oh. so raw. It's, it's so, so real. raw. I felt bad and after Aaron I watched like, it too, though. <laughs> 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 like uh, being very Aaron. So, no, it was um, iconic. Yeah, yeah, I was this like, this has to go on, real quick, on the internet. Mm-hmm. Let's address the elephant in the room. What? <gasps> it's holiday season. Yay! This is our Christmas episode. It's the holidays. It's the, the holidays. I like to say holidays during this time okay. because... Well, Manny, you're a hoe. You a hoe t- all seasons. <laughs> Every season. I want to turn it into that. Every, Every season. season. Wait, explain your guys' sweaters. Um, Who's got the best sweater, guys? Let's vote down below. <laughs> Tell, Mine's I think just it's funny. Mine. Tell you, I mean, when turn yours on. If you're just watching the audio, listen to the audio. If you're just Sorry. listening to the audio, Manny's is very funny and it's very him. I like what you mean. have going. It's a, it's a gingerbread that drew on a six pack and abs with his icing. With his icing, which is so me. It's so Except you. Except with Facetune. I love that so much. <laughs> it represents you. It embodies you. Does it? <laughs> I don't know if we'd take I'm it that just far. Um, okay, um, Tally, what Mine, I- first of all, let me show you the best part of mine. <laughs> <gasps> For their listeners, it tur- he turned the lights on. Got, all right, so if you haven't seen the movie Christmas Vacation with Chevy I have, Chase, I have. You have seen it, right? Mm-hmm. You're so place. Okay, part, you should be arrested if you haven't seen that. I've seen it. The part Thank you. where you introduced me, but I've seen it. Good the girl. cat chews on the uh, Christmas lights and electrocutes itself. Oh, and that's then the cat. Says, Where'd you get that Poor from? Poor guy. Brad puts cat. Where'd you get it from? Etsy. Boy, where are you shopping Etsy? on? Etsy. 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 That's oh like Amazon and there's like Etsy. Well, you can't get this. In, this is handmade. Is it? Yes. It does look guys, handmade. When, like literally, when these did Tyler are, become these an Etsy now, girl? Is this dry clean mm. only or can we throw it in the water? It's dry Laura, clean what only. The fuck? It, it would literally, literally you has become a battery the cat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would be you. I will throw that in the wash if you're not careful. Um, I mean, I plan to wear it once a year, so it probably doesn't I need to be washed. I literally love it. It's a good sweater. I found my TJ Thank Maxx you. and I was actually doing a YouTube video, like, like a yours. shopping spree at TJ Maxx. And then I saw like how ugly this was yeah, and like tacky. The drag to end all drag. The drag to end all it's drag. Camp. If I've ever seen a Ugly camp and tacky. sweater, this is tinsel. camp. It has literal it's tinsel. Um, and I was like, "That's the one, guys," because I need one for the podcast every yeah. year. So I was like, "This is the one." I love it. I feel like mine's actually the cutest of all of them. Mm, you're trying, um, but your guys' are it's the most debatable. like actual like ugly Christmas sweater. Mine's like, like actually kind of cute. Yours is cute. You could definitely wear like, like you could wear this morning. and like get away with it. Yeah, it's like yours very are like cute. ugly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Enough of that. We get it. All right. All right. We all know right. You're get it. Hit. Like it's rough. <laughs> all right. We heard it. Thank you to ZocDoc for sponsoring this portion of Full Coverage. If you guys want to check it out, you can go to ZocDoc.com slash full and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then start your search for a top rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C.com slash full. ZocDoc.com slash full.
This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. It is the world's largest therapy service. BetterHelp has matched 3 million people with professionally licensed vetted therapists available 100% online. Plus, it's affordable. Just fill out the brief questionnaire and be matched with a therapist. If things aren't clicking, you can easily switch to a therapist anytime. It couldn't be simpler. No waiting rooms, no traffic, no endless searching for the right therapist. Learn more and save 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash full coverage. That's better help h-e-l-p dot com slash full coverage all right guys so today's episode we wanted to ask each other questions but like questions that we're allowed to ask each other anything that this we is want. one of those where it's like we each have a question for each person uh-huh questions that are a little bit Risque. Taboo. Taboo to ask. Mm-hmm. Things that we might not necessarily know the answer to in the other things ones. Things that but we might not want to answer. Fun. Anything goes. Anything. This is an anything goes episode. I got my questions. I got, I got my questions too. So but before we do up. that oh, though, peaks we got to get to peaks and pits. Peaks the peak of the pit. The peak the pit. in the pit. The pit. All right. So what we're going to do is have Laura go first. I'll go first. Good. I'm proud of you. I have my peak. I'll start my peak. Okay. That's good. You never want to start. I never want to start because I'm always like, what What happened to What is mine? What? What day is it? I'm over here in La La Land. Okay, my peak is I told you guys I was going to get to go see my sister, and I went and saw her, and I hadn't seen her in years and years. Um, And I went and saw her, and it was so, 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 so good and refreshing. Mm. We talk a lot, so I will say, it was just kind of like we picked up where we left off just because we talk so much. Mm -hmm. You guys talk almost every day. We do. We talk today as well for a little bit. Um. And it's nice because I'll admit um, I am scarce on family members. I don't got a lot going on in the family department. And sometimes things are happening in your life where you really need a family member to talk to about it. And I haven't Mm -hmm. had my sister because, you know, She's had substance abuse issues. Then she was gone. We tell the kids she was in boarding school. She was in boarding (laughs) boarding school. The children, the young children, the young, young children. Yes. Um. You know, so she, like, she hasn't been there and now she's like completely sober, doing really, really good. And she's back to like her best potential. Her best. Because when well, my sister's great, she's the best. Mm-hmm. She's like me. Very, she does have a lot of me quality. She's more fun than me, I'll say. Yeah, right. She is. I'm telling you, the internet it. would probably like her more than she's me. She's wild. She is wild. She's like, she takes Laura, but thing. wild. Your eyes like twitching. Your eyeballs twitching. This one? Yep. Yeah. Doesn't that mean I something? I felt a little bit. I felt a little bit of a twitch. What's going on? It's the caffeine. Is it's what it, it is. It's probably the caffeine. I bet you it I feel is. it twitching. It's literally oh twitching right now. You can I'm see tweaking, it. I'm tweaking, y'all. Tweaking. He's a robot. We knew it. <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, I went to see her and I got to actually spend time with her and it was so nice. She's doing good. She looks good. She looks really good. Mm. She looks so beautiful. I'm so happy for her. She's a dog groomer now. And it's interesting because she's always had like a love-hate relationship with animals and dogs. She's just like not the fucking one to deal with that. Like she doesn't want to have her own, but she loves them. Exactly. And she had a really good friend in junior high school that she kind of connected with after she got out and she did have a job but then she was like I had groom dogs and my sister was like I want to give that a go my sister's a big time hustler like she'll do anything and she's really good at a lot of stuff mm-hmm. whenever she's at her best Um, so now she's a dog groomer and she's making a lot of money doing it and she's getting really good at it she's learning to cut mm-hmm. and so that's the hardest is like washing and brushing is like hard work but like you really want to cut the dog hair like learn how to groom in that way because that's where the real money's made like got it if you're able to like sculpt a dog essentially no literally i get zaya groomed every single month i feel like you can make a lot of money doing that right? yeah it's expensive they it's do. not cheap yeah, they do they cheap. make a lot of money doing it and so she's found herself in a really good place and she's really ha- happy with this job because she said that she's never had the opportunity to work for a job where you make as much money as hard as you work. Yeah, like you you put in the work and you, you earn for it. Whereas most jobs are like sense. 40 hours a week yes. and you just work the 40 hours. Yep. And if you're working hard at that job, you, you know, if you're clocked in, you're clocked in. Whereas her job is, it's kind of like ours, like influencing. Mm-hmm. Like if you don't post and you don't work, like you, you don't, don't make money. money. Yeah. Like it's the harder you work at it, it's self-driven. So this job is self-driven. She said for her, she never knew that she needed a self-driven 
driven job, but it's very, very motivating for her. Like this, you have to be self motivating for that kind of job. Exactly, and like she, and like there's an actual opportunity for her to make a buttload of money. Whereas at her other jobs, it's kind of like capped off. Like you're there 40 hours a week, and this is mm-hmm. your paycheck, and then that's mm-hmm. just what it is. Whereas this job is, the more you can get in, and the better you get at this thing, the more money you make. And she wants to make good money and rebuild her life, and she's doing a really good job. So good for her. That's a good peak. It's a good peek. My eyes twitching. <laughs> hey. I can feel now that it's pointed out. I'm like, you can feel it. I can I, feel it like doing like you. How you, much you, caffeine you, did you. we have today? I didn't like. Literally, this is my second Celsius of the day. <laughs> but I had the first one like early, like six hours ago. Okay. So it's like it's it's out of the system right now. Yeah. I try not to drink more than like two of those a day. Oh, same, Definitely same. Not. I won't I drink more than the two. But then, but I have, I will say what I've done is I've done like a Celsius in the morning when I go to the gym, one in the, and like the evening to like get me by if I don't nap. And if I go out that night, I will do a Red Bull. Yeah. Ooh. Well, listen. That's intense. That's not Sugar like free, though, an course. every single day vodka, thing. No. And like. That's like on the weekend if I'm going out and I need like live extra your life. help. Because I don't your drink. Life. Yeah, live I your life. I need extra pick me up. Mm-mm. I don't know how you can be around all these drunk people for so many years and not drink oh yourself. God. That's always the been Red a Bull. mystery to me. Like it has also, always. Like, how do you deal with drunk that people? That is the Manny yeah. I MUA mystery. That, I don't Manny so doesn't though. I went to a. I have the, you know, my fuse, it's long, but to a certain extent with drunk people specifically, like if you get belligerent with me, I'm not putting up with nope. you like, ever. I will mm-hmm. never put up with that. I will always get myself out of that situation. Cause I'm like, I'm not going to deal with like abruptly belligerentness. Cause I'm like, I don't even know what you're saying. I don't know what you're doing. I'm just going to not be in that situation. Cause I'm like, I don't know. Are you yeah. good? Like, yeah. are you okay? Have like you- if you can't even have a conversation with me, then it's like not fun. I have agree you that you don't. Belligerent? No, I've seen Laura drunk, of course, but not like. Not like blacking yeah. out. I've definitely no, definitely like fucked up for yeah. sure. Like even re- when we went out with the gays, <laughs> you're like last week she was literally that. like when we went out, you were and you were backwards on the couch. Yeah, like literally. Oh my, it's the drinks Excuse in me? West Hollywood. Where was I? They at? make backwards them so. You were sleeping, I think. <gasps> no, I wasn't backed up. No, no, no I was you were back, flipped like, around you were like, and upside yeah. down. Because she had hiccups. Okay. So she was trying to get oh, rid of hiccups. I was lit. I had the worst no, hangover of my lit, life. That's lit. how I know I was so lit. Because when I woke up that next morning, oh That's when I ate my the, Remember when God. I ate the bagel? And she's like, when are you going to eat your bagel? And I'm like, all right, just ate it in front of you. I'm like, <laughs> when are you going to eat your bagel? Wait, I was like, what's going on? Your thing's been in there for a long time. <laughs> I was like, it's been I'm like, Laura, the, I've already eaten it. Like, we actually. had a full conversation yeah. while I was eating it in front of your face. Mm-hmm. Mm. I was so that was a lit effed night. up the next morning. I was yeah, but, toe up. But again, like, you're not like, I mean, mind you, if it's it's so different, like, you stumbling, I'd help you make sure you're okay. Yeah. But like if you're a stranger to me oh. and you're like but belligerently even drunk then, with me, I will never like put up with that. If you're like being annoying and like slurring your words and like passing out and throwing up, it's like, all right, Deuce. college, that's, it's not necessarily cool in college, but like it's more susceptible to that in college. Yeah. In your 30s, it's like, mm-hmm. let's, uh, let's keep it together. Let's have get you ever it together. Seen me a belligerent? Bit. I feel like I have seen you belligerent. I've seen him belligerent so many times. Excuse guys. me. I've like definitely, definitely seen you. I've definitely, definitely seen you. No, I've definitely, definitely seen you at least once or twice. Literally, I don't know. I remember know that- when you guys went to Cabo. Oh. Is that oh Cabo? Was that like when you were like no, was Cabo, fucked yes. up? Like you just had the yes. towel over you as your blanket? Yeah, that was. Yeah. I was belligerent. You're belligerent. Yeah. Remember the videos too. I w- remember when we went to Necker Island. I think you guys went to bed early. <laughs> On the first night, I got. And he couldn't wasted. get out of the bed. Really? Yeah. You guys went on like this giant who, tortoise walk, who, which I was so jealous about. Who didn't get out of bed? Everyone in that place was fucked. really fucked up. The whole entire, because it was an island. And so there were less everyone rules. Everyone got fucked yeah. up. We got wasted on the first time, but I think you guys went to bed early. I'm well, not I, I probably not didn't go to bed early, early but, but see, probably but see, just Do you like, know what? I remember missing Nikki tutorials on the table, whipping her hair. No, we were there. That? Oh, I we wasn't. did miss that. I missed it we because did. I went we weren't back there. earlier. We just saw it online. Yeah. We had saw it online that <laughs> she was like on the table, like crawling, like boom, boom, boom. Pew. And I'm probably in the background, like just belittling. Probably lit as fuck too. But just to give context for Nikki, everyone was doing. No, oh, yeah. Everyone, yeah. everyone, everyone like was Nikki. doing that. That wasn't Nikki just being crazy. Like everyone was acting a fool. Everybody was dancing was like hard. Hilarious. I got on the table at one point. Yeah, I was no, dancing. I was, I, Manny, you were dancing. You remember? I was we all too. filmed each other. So everyone was kind of doing that. Everyone thought the table was a catwalk. Everybody everyone thought was, the table was, that was the thing. I was, I was fully like voguing down uh-huh. the thing, trying, pretending like I was voguing. But it was really fun. That was a great trip. It was a great trip. You will never see that many influencers and those influencers together ever, ever again. again. That was a wild trip. That was a history. lot happened on that trip. A lot <laughs> happened on that trip. But you'll, and you'll never see that, that ever, 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 ever again. But it made history. <laughs> 
<laughs> do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make history. We're gonna make. We should history. talk about that trip. We should do an episode on just that trip. Honestly, Necker Island. Oh, you want to do a deep dive Spill on Necker, Necker Island? Island. Spill it Tyler really all. likes to try. There's it a on lot the that went down. I'm gonna go true. back to my Snapchat that so posted it. to try oh to God. recall yes. everything that we did. Oh my God, that was a lot. That was mm -hmm. such a fun trip. I met my buddy Jamie on that trip, and they're Aww. still friends. And they're still friends. And, they're still and I literally friends. see Jamie at the gym all the time. We're homies. Yeah. Uh -huh. He literally was like, "Let's do cardio, like do a class together once." <laughs> and I'm like, "Are you on fucking cardio?" <laughs> I don't want to do a fucking bike ride. <laughs> what I the say fuck you mean? Uh, oh my peak. peak. Okay, so my peak. Laura's gonna love this one. So I recently just hurt my shoulder playing softball. So it's kind of a pit, mm -hmm. but this is not gonna be my pit. But I just recently, I dove for a ball. I, in my brain, you forgot I'm you were 18 30. years old. Yeah, you forgot you're mm. and I'm not 32. Mm. So I like full, when I tell you I was at a full sprint, which is impressive, mind you, at 32. Anyway, true. Just, <laughs> you running is a miracle. miracle. Was I at a full sprint? <laughs> I laid out for a ball like Superman style, like sh full extension, legs out, like completely vertical to the ground. Tyler. I landed like kind of on my chest and like when I landed, it jarred me so hard that like, kind of, like it didn't knock me out, but like it kind of just like blacked me out for a second. Yeah. You've been hit so hard that you just, yes, kind of, of like, course it shakes you. you. Yes. Yeah. I landed so hard that that happened. I caught the ball, but I like messed up my, my throwing arm shoulder, my left shoulder, which you messed up multiple for things. Weeks. I'm sure. For yeah. Just well, the, one the only slide, thing that hurt. Oh, good. The one Honestly, slide got you together though. Yeah, but like like it really like I couldn't throw a ball afterwards and like it still hurts me right now. I I messed up like my rotator cuff, which is fine now, but I also pinched a nerve in my shoulder, which I'm still dealing with. But my peak is I went to the driving range for the first time this week and I can golf. Oh great. Uh, and when I tell you that that was what I was concerned about the most whenever I hurt golfing. myself. I was like, why did I just do this? Like, I'm That's not going to be able to pit. golf for a long time. It's your pit. It's <laughs> golfing. Pit is that I can golf again. <laughs> I haven't been able to golf for like, when was the last time I golfed? It's been over a month. The no way. Oh, it's like the, the, the little TikTok channel. It's like, <laughs> I went from golfing at least once a week to not golfing at all. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Wow. I didn't know that you had not been golfing because of the fucking yeah. arm. I forgot about I that. swing. Anything. I literally went over to the house and he had a sling. And I'm like, yeah. what the fuck? fuck happened i had to go to the doctor and everything mm -hmm. and he, he used zocdoc by the way i did use zocdoc so shout out to zocdoc i think it's really cool because <laughs> we love zocdoc in this house he I forgot said he to didn't even code. use our code <laughs> i mean the app is free anyways yeah. but he didn't use our link I to forgot. sign up i'm like thanks Maybe, can i delete it and then reuse no it's code? over it's you i'll download it, it on you're, laura's you're, phone you're on timeout you're fucking done i'll download it on laura's phone and use the code okay so that's my peak what's your peak sir you guys, I had like a really cute romantic moment. Uh -oh. Uh oh, I haven't told you about it yet. So this mm. is like a completely brand new peak, and this mm -hmm. happened this weekend. So what's his name? What's his Instagram handle? Stop Go it, ahead. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> so I was going over. So um, some friends of mine who are Luscious's friends, I had met them through Luscious. Were like, oh, we're doing like a holiday party come on over and i was like okay cool so i texted him like Are you going and he's like no i'm not gonna go but you should definitely still go because it's like just go and i was like okay i'll go for like an hour uh -huh. so i went met up with friends there and they're like let's just go out like we're already here together like might as well go to the club and i was like okay like i guess i'll go for like an hour <laughs> turns into more than just one hour as it always as it does. always does so we go to this club and this guy that have been like i've been like chatting with him i'm not kidding you for like I'd say like two years. Wow. He's an older gentleman, has a partner, happily like with his partner or whatever. But like we met on like a dating app because he's like, oh, yeah, we're open. Mm -hmm. But we're just like kind of like casual chatting. And I know he has like a crush on me. And so he would tell me, he's like, yeah, I told my partner, like have a crush on you and like da da da. And I was like, oh, you're sweet. Whatever. He's really handsome. Six two. Wow. Like, very zaddy. My zaddy fantasy. 100%. Wow. So it's the end of the night. It's like we're probably like two thirty in the morning, and I'm like, okay, like the place that we were at was closing at four, but I'm like, I can't stay till four. Like I'm done. I'm at max capacity. Like I'm over it. Like I'm done with my friends. And he texts me. He's like, oh, I'm, are you out at the club? And I'm like, I am, but I'm literally about to leave. And he's like, oh, I'll meet you at where you are, and then we'll just like look, go. Like oh, we'll call our cars. And I'm like, okay, like I'll meet up with you because this is the second time we ever met. First time we met was at a club. It was just like a high and by, and he's like, "Oh, I'm like, I'm out too with my friends." I'm like, "Wait, cool. Like, let's catch up." So we meet. So it's raining. This is the night that it's literally like pouring rain. How you went out, I don't know, because 
you already see, the, know. See, the thing is, it wasn't like raining, raining before when mm. I got out. And then I'm there and I'm like, why is it fucking it pouring It just started rain? pouring. At, like, because it started raining super it late. Did. At night. Mm-hmm. It, it did. It did. Really, really late. So I'm like, fuck. So I'm like, okay, like, I'm going to just run to my car. But I met up with him. I was like, hey, how are you? He's kind of drunk. And so we're in the front of this club. We're in front of Heart, which is like the we hope. I know where this is going. You posted about on your close friends. Oh, yeah. You did. I did. I did. I did. So then I'm like, hey, what's up? Like, how are you? And he's like, I'm good. How are you? And then he like kind of we went under the awning and we were like kind of talking and chatting. And this is like in front of heart. So there's like a ton of people there because everyone's trying to get in there because it closes at four when everything else closes at two. Why does heart close at four? Because they, they don't serve alcohol till two. They, That's why. Uh, West Hollywood it's changed the, their, it's the like, alcohol thing. They changed their, their rules. Like places don't have to close at two. You have to stop serving alcohol too, but they can close oh. it for some like clubs, so like some the bigger ones. Open. Some stay open. How can they even make money then? I don't know. You I know, really know. That, how like how does that benefit like, the club? I don't know. I think maybe more it's like the vibe, the fact that you can just like literally still be there and dancing and having fun, and they can probably buy waters and stuff. Okay. Or like bottle service. Who knows? Yeah, maybe. So I was talking to him under the awning. He leans in, starts <gasps> kissing me under this awning around like all these people. So I like kind of like jolt back because I'm not the type of person that's into like the public affection as much. Me if, if it's not, if it's someone I'm not super like connected to mm-hmm. if that makes sense or it's like you're like my friend and we were acquaintances and like we've been flirty but you're not like my man so i'm not going to be like you're not a you in front of all saying. these people you know what i mean does that make yeah. sense so then buy you dinner first i was like come here come here yeah literally, literally so i was like i was like come here, come here come here to the side so we go to the around the building and then it's literally like pouring rain so and he has a jacket on he p- takes his jacket off puts it over us <gasps> and, and as, as i'm like can we call my car real quick i'm calling my car puts it over us and like we like kind of look at each other and under the jacket, we start like making out oh under his jacket God. in the pouring rain. And I was like, what in the fucking it's shit? What is going on? So he like kind of put it over us and we're just like making out like frantically outside the club. No one can see what I look like because I'm literally under a jacket making out with him. And just like my body, <laughs> his nice jacket. Is running. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so we just like start randomly making out in front of the like in front of the club on the side. And he was like, I waited so long to do this. And I was like, me too. And it was like such a Aww. fantasy. Because it was like pouring rain outside and I'm like making out and he like took off his jacket and was like such a gentleman about it. That's so yeah, that so was my peak. cute. I love that. But he's in a relationship. Really yeah, yeah, no, it's definitely not going to really go anywhere. Yeah. But it was, it was like, like fun. Just like a fantasy and it was fantasy. just like fun. And like, it was nice to just like make out with someone. And you'd been talking to him. So you guys kind of knew each yeah, other. Yeah, like I know him. So like I felt super comfortable like even talking to him, totally. messaging him. Like he's great. We check, He'll like text me like once or twice a week. That's so So, like, so we kept in contact. Cute constantly oh my god and he texted me the next day he was like that was amazing but i'm fucked up oh. I, he's like i was like i was really fucked up last night and i'm just now like getting over my hangover and i'm like yeah i figured if you just like randomly try to kiss me in front of all these people i'm like shot i was shocked a little liquid courage a little liquid courage came mm. into play but it was nice when we went around the building and i was that's like, so out. cute and then i remember taking off my jacket from like taking off the jacket from kissing someone and someone who had just came up to me to recognize me and to say hi was literally right next to me and she was like <gasps> No, nice. and I was like, she was like, you get it, you get it, babs. I was like, don't look at me. <laughs> I was like, don't look at me. I like to be like, especially when I'm out and about. Like, I want to be very like put together yeah. in a weird, in a way. Yeah. I don't right, just, like right. have this like weird preconceived notion of me. Right, but I still like to have fun. Of I still want to do my thing. Of course, and, and the secret of the rain in the. Okay, in the I have jacket. a question now. I know you haven't really dated heavily, like into a deep, deep, deep relationship. You have had like little boyfriends. You've mm-hmm. dated a ton. Mm-hmm. Um, wh- how would you, would you be nervous to bring like an official guy home to meet your whole family as in mom, dad, brother, brother? Um, Just because- I would only ever do that if it was like serious do you feel like you'd be nervous to because it'd be like a new experience now i now i just want to go and mm-hmm, interrupt mm-hmm. myself and say this and you but um I, we both know your family wouldn't be judgmental but i'm just totally. saying like it is a different experience it's a, such so a different dynamic would that like make you nervous or like to open that next level with your family like i would i definitely would be nervous about it like like for example when i was talking to the last guy i was seeing and i brought him when we all went to the football mm-hmm. game, I was nervous, mm-hmm. but I still felt comfortable because I was like around you guys and I felt obviously so comfortable. So I feel like it's the same with my family where I, I, I would be really nervous bringing him around, but I know that they have like the best intentions for me. They, and they just want like me to be happy. And as long as like the guy I'm seeing isn't like a fucking disaster, well, you wouldn't I would do it. Bring and I would never, a disaster no, anyway. She would, would never that. do that. I would so. never do that. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I, I would know that as long as he's good, 
I would feel like pretty comfortable doing that, but it would take a while yeah. for me to get there. Oh, I would I never introduce a guy to Just my family like, randomly. Like I'm not that person. No like you know way. people like kind of like bring dates for Christmas and stuff like that? I'm like, that's not me. Oh no. I'm the complete opposite. No. I'm like, um, you will literally never meet my family <laughs> <laughs> unless I fuck with you heavy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, that was like my peak. I, I love fun. that. That's such a cute peak. Yeah, it was fun. It was such a it was like a moment. It was a vibe. This is literally like three days ago. <laughs> Wow. Okay, should we take a break and then do all our picks? Yes. Yep. Okay, we're going to take a break and we'll be right back after this. Boom. Thank you to ZocDoc for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. You guys, me and Manny love ZocDoc. Mm -hmm. We think it's like one of the most innovative, useful apps out there because it's like we're trained to read reviews on products we buy on different stores online, mm -hmm. on restaurants we eat at. But like, why are we not reviewing our doctors? If you guys don't know what ZocDoc is, it is a free app that shows you doctors who are patient reviewed and take your insurance and are available whenever you need them. I just love that you can literally find kind of any specialty. So with ZocDoc, you can find any specialist under the sun, whether you're trying to straighten those teeth, an achy back, get that mole checked. Anything you need, Doc Doc literally has you covered. And the app is free. You guys, it's literally an easy download, easy to install. It's the whole thing is just F-R-E and that's for me. That's for me. Every single month, millions of people are using ZocDoc. So you guys, we're one of them. We love it. If you guys want to check it out, you can go to ZocDoc.com slash fool and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then start your search for a top rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's ZocDoc.com slash fool. ZocDoc.com slash fool. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. You guys, as someone who has gone to therapy for years and years and years. I am a huge advocate in better help and the fact that you can literally get therapy from home and it's just such an innovative thing. And I think it's actually really, really amazing to be able to help people. And, you know, at the end of the day, you need to invest in yourself, invest in your own mental health, because that is the most important thing. I couldn't agree more. And I feel like with better help, it makes it so accessible and way more affordable to get therapy. It is the world's largest therapy service. BetterHelp has matched 3 million people with professionally licensed vetted therapists available 100% online. Plus, it's affordable. Just fill out the brief questionnaire and be matched with a therapist. If things aren't clicking, you can easily switch to a therapist anytime. It couldn't be simpler. No waiting rooms, no traffic, no endless searching for the right therapist. Learn more and save 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash full coverage. That's better help h e l p dot com slash full coverage all right we are back with our pits to go over mm. and then we're going to jump in asking ourselves any question we want to ask ask to each other first? i'll go pit first. pit first so i have this mini story time and manny heard the wrath of it because i went to the beach after and i started voice noting him so i was driving on the 405 and i was getting off on the 10 that doesn't mean anything to most people but i was merging onto a freeway and i count on those stupid lights on the side of the car mirrors to tell you if someone's in your blind spot yeah. and you really shouldn't do that because they are not always accurate yes and I counted on them and they didn't tell me anyone was there so I plopped my little <laughs> ass over and I almost ran someone off the road and as soon as I looked in my review mirror like I looked back and I was like oh shit like I almost hit that like, car like they definitely had to like slam on brakes for me to get over so I was like fuck so I was like they're gonna be so mad but like so mad just, what's it called when you cut them off yeah I cut them off yeah I did and I was in the wrong and I should have looked and did better but it's LA and Mistakes have Shit been made. Happens. Shit happens. So the car gets really, really, really mad at me. Um, <laughs> the car, instead of just honking. Lord's by herself, by the way. Yeah, I'm by myself. So I got spooked because the car gets so mad at me. And I'm like, can you just honk and flick me off like everybody else so like we can normal, move on with our day? Yes, like a normal like person. A normal like, like I'm Angelian. pissed. You're an idiot. Yes, I am. I made a mistake. My bad. I would have done a little hand wave like my bad and we can move on. No, no. They have to. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. I'm like this with sunglasses and a hat. <laughs> You're going to get ran off the road. Oh, my God. If I fuck up, that's literally me. I'm like, sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Shouldn't have been there. Shouldn't have been there. God. <laughs> This is my road. No, I definitely was like, I fucked up my bad. But anyway, so then they tried to get in front, like speed around me, get in front of me and slam on brakes so I would hit them. That's psychotic. And I was like, 
okay, guy. Like, I see you speeding around me to get in front of me, you. Like, I know what you're going to do. And he yeah. did it. And so I didn't hit him. But I, I, I was already, like, on to him. Because I'm like, he's trying to kill me right now. You so. swerved. You swerved. Yeah. Skirt. Um, so then I get over to the next lane because I don't want to be behind them because he keeps brake checking me because he's trying to play that game where you mm -hmm. like, try I'm like, what are you going to do if I hit you? Are like, you going to get out and beat my ass? Like, what right. is your plan then if I hit you? Concrete thinking, buddy. Yeah. So then I get over. Because it would be your mistake. It, it would be my fault. But it's like, what are you going to accomplish with me hitting your back in? Like, buying you a new bumper? No, like, like, I don't know. I literally don't like, know. Like, what's the oh, great man. thing that's going to come out of this? Yeah. yeah. Um. True. But anyway, so I get over in the next lane and then he gets over in the next lane in front of me. He's like chasing me down and he keeps doing the same thing in where he's slamming. Right? Uh huh. He's, in front, he's, he's in front of me. So he's like blocking me off. You know what I mean? And he keeps slamming on brakes. So I'll hit him and I'm like, oh my God. So I was getting spit. At that point, I'm like, I'm fucking scared now. He's chasing me down. So I get in the next lane. Our freeways are wide, mind you. Uh, there are a lot of like lanes. There's like seven lanes. Yeah. I get in the next lane. The fucking dude, there was a car in his way because he tried to jump over again. He was chasing me down because I was starting to get in front of him and he was starting to get over to push me out of that lane like sideswipe my car like like he couldn't get in front of me because there was mm -hmm. a car so he wanted to push me out of the lane and right. like hit my car so he pushed me into the next lane luckily there wasn't a car and at this point i'm like he's gonna kill me did like did you this... get a good look at this person no i didn't look at his face one time i got a good look at the car but not the person because i'm scared and mm -hmm. this is happening very quickly yeah, it's all you. Like it's so like... fast yeah and i'm like oh my god he's running me off the road now like he's running me into lanes like oh my god he's about to fucking hit me like i'm scared mm -hmm. um so then i looked in front of me and it was pretty clear and when i tell you <laughs> i stepped on the fucking gas so hard and i was like Pew! like you speed racer did oh i fucking floored it because i was like get me away from me he's gonna kill me and i did see him try to get over again but once he saw i was gone and there was one car that was right there that was like blocking me i was like please move please move please move because if he moved it would have been wide open and he, he moved he moved out of my way and i was out of there and i kept checking my rear view for the killer <laughs> the fact that you think like, it's the like you you, you completely me. created like He's a scream. Honey, He's a scream. It went fr from an uh, an innocent mistake to Fast and the Furious in literally, three seconds. Literally, literally what I was it was like the Fast Vin and the Furious. Vin yeah. Diesel was chasing me. <laughs> you were Vin Diesel. Actually. You were Vin Diesel. <laughs> it's not even Vin Diesel. Chasing I, me. You were Vin Diesel. I hit the nos. <laughs> Everything got blurry. The nitro, <laughs> literally fire shooting out of your car. I would like to interject okay. and say Laura has a serious case of road rage. No, I'm not I saying do in this not. in this instance, not in this Laura, instance but Laura, you do have some. No, you I have a little road bit. rage. Have I you ever do. tried to run someone off the road? No, no and I don't no, mean no, no, that no. in a in a way. You're of making like, it seem like I do. You're not what running. That person no, no, did to me. she doesn't do. She like that's beyond road rage. That's, that's psychosis. Yes, I would never do that to someone, no matter what. I would never do I that. I just mean like traffic in general gets you angry. Okay, but you can't and say like... that right after I tell this story <laughs> because it alludes to like I'm like that, so I deserve that. You're like, no, Laura you has do, road rage and you, she will kill you. I'll you, get <laughs> you. You get pretty angry in traffic a lot of the time. There times. are two things that make me mad. If you don't use your blinker and you stop in the lane that is moving, I get people run through neighborhoods and being a little lazy with blinkers. I get that. Uh -huh. But like if everyone's slamming on brakes so you can turn like in a busy street, like if you're turning off that Ventura and you are blocking cars mm -hmm. and everybody's like, why are they going? It's because someone's trying to turn and you don't use your fucking blinker. I will honk at you. Yeah. Because I'm like, I don't know what you're doing. I, I don't know why like you're stopped. Mm -hmm. in, in LA, it's like, it's very common for people to be yelling at each other in their cars. But there are instances with like with this up. person that some people are so fucking crazy mm -hmm. that when you're like yelling at them, like they're, they're ready to get out of the car and fight. Yeah. And like in That's instances scary. where like say I'm in the car with Laura okay, and I let's just not... say she gets into a match with somebody. I don't get into matches with people though. You can't say if, that. If she has to get out of the car to fight this person, like I have you're to step fighting. in. But so he's making up a hypothetical situation <laughs> a hypothetical. where I'm not saying you're ready to do that. I'm just saying I'm like in not general, trying to fight. I'm like use your blinker. That's my road rage. Or if you don't go at a red light, you're gonna get a honk. 
Right. You're going like, to go. Like, as like a quick, like I a know that honk. you're on your phone. And I told Tyler that. I said there is phones. a huge difference in honks. And yes, two, like a, little, like a little, I do the a toot, two. Toot. A doot doot. Yes. Like a two little light ones. Yep. And I think if you hold down your horn for a really long time, you're being a little crazy. 100%. And I think that could get you murdered. And that's I the, agree. And I will tell you, that's the only reason I don't do that. Because it scares me yeah. that if I were to just go <laughs> and lay on forever, I think someone would kill me. I'm I'm not a hunker. I'll honk, but I, I there's a, honk. there's, there in LA. Can't. Now, if you did that where I'm from Montgomery, it's like a feud, like God forbid you use your horn, but in LA yeah. people use them so liberally. And I do the light little honks. It's like a little doot, like yeah. you need to go. Like a little honk. You get a little more aggressive one if you don't use your blinker and you're blocking a busy road. You piss me off. And also something that makes <laughs> me mad with drivers, mm -hmm. if there's a turning lane and you're too lazy or don't get your car fully in the turning lane, so you block the straight oh, lane. that's annoying. Because you didn't get all the way in the turning lane because yep. you just don't want to. Mm -hmm. And half your bumper's hanging out so no one can go. There. But there's a full turning lane for you. Mm -hmm. You're going to honk. You're going to honk. You're going to get out of the way. Yeah. And those are my rules. So I guess you have just little patience. I, I have little things that piss Maybe me off and they're specific because I feel like they're the most easy but inconsiderate things people do while driving. It's like the inconveniences of those stupid things. There's such they, little on. things. They're so like turn your fucking blinker on if you're going to block 10 cars from going. Like let us know why you're stopping there. Yeah. Let us know. So but I you agree. survived the killer. I survived the killer. Got I got away. away from him. I looked in my rear view. As soon as I took off he started to get all the way back over which showed he was chasing me down because mm -hmm. he had to get yeah, on the exit. Had to get off. Yep. Psycho. Mm -hmm. I was scared. Anyways. I was scared. I was scared. She was shook. You I called me so after. I was so scared. No, I was talking to him for a <gasps> while. Wow. She you, you, were she you were golfing. You were gone. You were gone on a guy's trip. During the situation happening. Mm -hmm. Oh, while she was driving? No, 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 no. <laughs> I was on the beach. I was on the beach. At the time she voiced on me, it had just happened. Just happened. It was happened. going on. So you Fresh. were her first thought. Yeah. No, I'm he like, texted me. I was already you, talking to you her. You won the, the, the game I did that we played. Trivia. You know her right. better. So, I mean, she should be calling you first. You're sick. I did know the trivia. You're right. Um. Anybody else want to give a pit? Um. Okay, so my pit... Mine comes back to like another ailment. Oh I'm, my I'm God. just getting old, guys. I've been dealing with tension headaches over the past couple of days. Yes. Tension headaches? Not, yeah. He has. No. Like it kind of starts in like my neck and it goes like kind of mm -hmm. just on one side. I had to like look it up. Does it and make your eyes like was... feel like you can't see? No, not really. Oh, that's good. That's um, mm -hmm. But I had to like look it up to like see what it was. I'm like, like, why does like, because when I rub my neck, like it feels better. Mm. And I'm like, you got to be careful when you're looking stuff up online because next thing you know, you have a brain tumor. Yeah. Exactly. You, know? the yeah. web MD, you cannot web MD yourself. It is super dangerous. dangerous. Um, but yeah, I just kind of been dealing with that with the past couple of days. I bought this thing that's supposed to like, you lay your neck back on it and it like stretches your neck out and it's like heated at the same time. Who knows if it's going to help, but. But does it start from like your neck? Is that what happens? Well, like, like my head travel? hurts, but like, and then I could just like feel it in my neck as well. And if I like rub it, it just, it doesn't make it go away, but it makes it feel better. Mm. And it kind of comes around like, like I wake up feeling fine. And then at the end of the day is when it starts to hurt. So I know it's just like, I think I have really bad posture and I'm like mm. on my computer all day. Yeah. And like we're on our phones and it's just, yeah. my posture is just trash. You do. Yeah. Wow. Me over here like, yeah, you do. Yeah. Trash. <laughs> As if I don't have the worst As posture suspected. ever. I trash. try so hard. It's hard. Yeah, you have to be to, conscious about your you posture. Do. You do. You, or you will naturally be slumping on over. And Especially you deal as a social with media it. bitch. Oh, uh, yeah. On the laptops. Like, you're going to feel that shit your on your 20s, laptops. Your phone. When you get to your 30s, that's when, like. You're going to start to feel it. it. You're like, oh, wait a second. I woke up with a fucking Also, if you ever neck, watch right? yourself on camera a lot and, like, watch your posture, like, it will correct you real quick. because it's it's a real life got me together. Let oh me tell yeah, you. it will make when you're watching you yourself very aware <clears throat> on camera very without aware. like angles that you don't normally film yourself as. You're like, oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, I look like a hunched over sloth. Got it. Okay. I'm hunched back. I'm no <laughs> he took it too far. We he took it way that. too far. Let's, let's regress that. that. Let's take it back. <laughs> I didn't realize I looked like the hunchback on over drum. <laughs> and when I'm watching the show, I I'm can like, tell you oh. right now, you did not. I did. No. There was a hump, and I was humped over, and I had my teeth snaggled like this. <laughs> no, I took it happened. too far. I took it too None far. None of that happened. But, uh, yeah, one was bigger on the side. <laughs> <laughs> no, I took it too far. But I definitely was like, oh, I could, like, work on that for sure. Yeah. yeah. You know, there was you a little bit, like, a little bit of, like, a little here, too. Okay. Oh, you gotta use your abs. No, let me tell that you. Too. No, let me tell you something, and this is me being aware of my body on camera. 
we normally as humans relax our bodies. Yes. And if you're going to be on camera that long, eventually you're going to be relaxed. So you're seeing the most That's relaxed the and you do or did wear tight or close because it was like summertime there. Yes. So you're like wearing your skinny jeans, which you don't even wear those anymore. Literally. You're wearing tight white t-shirts. So it shows everything. And honestly, I've had people multiple times on this podcast ask me, am I pregnant? And mm. I'm like, no, bitch, I can't suck in for an hour and a half. It's hard. It's impossible. It's hard. God, <laughs> and please. I stop and calling I me pregnant. Try. It's just me relaxing my belly. Mm -hmm. And God forbid a woman and relax her belly and that's probably oh, what man. you're seeing did you just fart that was his mouth <laughs> <laughs> that was like his mouth. come on but anyways you just you're living you're relaxing. And, relax and i'm gonna be honest watching you i did not notice anything weird i didn't look at you and like wow manny damn come on manatee no you look so Throw normal. Shamu back in the ocean. So I don't want you to be <laughs> hypercritical of yourself. I, I know it's so hard not to be. It is when you're seeing yourself in angles that you don't see yourself in. It's like, oh, I don't ever see myself like this. This is strange. <laughs> and the camera adds pants. I was about to say, but, but, but you say. need to remember, like what you see on camera isn't necessarily what people see because a lot of times it's just certain angles that it totally, catches. Totally. You know. Well, also, like, you know, when your doctor tells you you're obese. <gasps> okay, well, when women tell you you're pregnant, you when you, in doctor. fact, are not pregnant, all the it'll time. It'll take you out. Of, it'll take you out. The fucking picture Daniel posted with me like this, blown up. I'm you're pregnant. You're joking. I wore a loose sweater, so I'm pregnant. They want you to be pregnant. I'm like, golly. Y'all making me not want to eat anymore. No, literally, I'm <laughs> like, like, I'm going to give myself a complex. <laughs> That's what I don't want you to do. No, I know, I know. And I'm like, luckily, like, I, you know me, I'm so like, I love to eat. I like to work out. Like, I am actually pretty healthy in mm -hmm. comparison to a lot of people. But it's just kind of like, why does it have to be that angle? Everyone has <laughs> yeah, angles that they don't everyone. like. You know? Oh, I have angles. I have my angles. I don't, and this I don't want This whole side of my them. face, I don't ever want it to be seen by the oh, light. Oh, stop <laughs> it. I got a good side oh my and bad God. side. The, I know all about Laura that. Laura doesn't even have a single bad I side. I do. I do. She swears she does though. I do. It's shocking. Anytime. Why do you I know what she mean? I feel like guys, I do. She sits on this side of the couch. You won't catch on the me podcast. slipping. You She'll won't never catch be on this side. Slipping. She'll never be on that side. Every picture. It's just I have a complex it's with my what face. I do. It's what I do. And I'm okay straight on. But you don't get yeah. me over here now. Only on that side. I'm getting you right now. The surreal I life. Just, hold on. The surreal life. If I was on that, I would be like this in every camera. <laughs> the problem is that you can't because the cameras are Look, everywhere. everywhere. Uh, 360. It would have got me together in real good. In the bathroom. Well, the, the, there's microphones in the bathroom. God, they caught you talking. <laughs> taking a This is all they trip. heard from No, me. literally like. <laughs> fucking blowing that shit especially like the first nights where i'm like oh, nervous and having ibs i know shit. you were i'm like shitting myself literally because mm. i was nervous mm. i hate that mm -mm. Okay, let me tell my pit now huh what's your pit let's hear it my pit is yeah this happened to me yesterday where i was like this is so awkward like this is why i try you know in my mind i'm like i'm trying to be the person where i'm like i can go up to someone and be like hey like, i like this i can like compliment them or like you know not like hit on them necessarily just it takes a lot like, of hey. confidence it's and it's hard to do and i struggle with it because it's like i'm not that i'm used to people doing that to me mm -hmm. but like i would rather someone come up to me and start a conversation than me start a conversation with someone else yep so i'm trying to get in the habit of being like you know what? Like people appreciate compliments. Like it's a compliment. It's nothing they crazy. They do like, and it could make their day. Like I'm gonna try to compliment a person like at least once a day. You know, I'm gonna try to do that in I person. I wish I complimented person. people more because there it's are so many so thoughts I have hard. where I definitely keep quiet. Me too. But it's just because I don't want to. You don't want to come across a certain way. I don't. That's, that's what I'm saying. So I don't. And I don't want that either. So yesterday I'm like, okay, I'm gonna compliment someone. I saw this guy at the gym who I actually follow and I'm a fan of his work. I'm a he's a talented artist. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my God, like I follow him. I'm gonna go up to him and say hi and I'm a fan of your work. So I go up to him and I'm like, hey, like I'm a fan of your work immediately. And he's like, my work here? <laughs> and I was like- <laughs> At the gym? And I literally thought, I'm like, oh my God, does he think I'm like, like his work here? I'm like, what does that even mean? Like, I'm so confused. Like, what do you mean your work here? I was so confused. And I was like, no, like I follow your Instagram. Like, I'm, you're so talented. And he was like, oh, okay. What if you got the wrong guy and he was just actually it was working him. at the gym? It was him, 100%. <laughs> yeah. I, I, knew, I knew exactly what it was. I was like, no, like you're, a fan, like you're really talented. Like I follow your page. And he's like, oh. What does he do? Does he paint? No, he's a photographer. Oh, photographer. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And so I'm like, oh, I'm Manny. Nice to meet you. And he's like, oh, hmm. Didn't introduce himself afterwards. Didn't like respond to me really. Just kind of like, ah. Oh. <laughs> like kind of look at me like I was literally fucking crazy <laughs> and I was like by the way that's my trauma and that's why I keep my mouth shut 
And that's why I keep my thoughts to myself. See, things, things like this is what makes me not want to give compliments out or like not like say something or introduce myself or something like that. And so literally after I had introduced myself and he didn't introduce himself back, I kind of like smiled and walked away. Yeah. Like I didn't like keep the conversation going or anything like that. Cause I was just kind of like, I feel uncomfortable. Weren't you like I feel dry. awkward. Ugh. I was like, you're so like, you were being really dry in person. And I was like, this feels so uncomfortable. I just didn't know what to do. Like, but you know what the truth is like there. That. So the truth is there. He probably was really... Do you think he was like caught off guard? Do you think maybe I caught I him off I think he was guard? caught off guard, but I think you would probably after like he processed it and you left. He probably is one of those people who have um like an anxiety with people and like they're really shy mm. and they don't know how to ha- I I've ran into quite a few people and maybe I'm, they're like, no bitch, they don't like you, but they seem very shy and like mm. I can be very <laughs> unshy and very yeah. like forthcoming like hi and they're like kind of closed off to me i think it's because they're literally scared and they're just like so much social anxiety and they're so shy just reserved in general reserved like they don't know how to engage and he probably thought about it later and was like oh my god that's so cool someone came up to me like my work you know like he probably Mm -hmm. took it really well did you unfollow him no i didn't unfollow. you should have blocked him (laughs) i'm just i didn't i didn't do dm him like hey um so that was a weird interaction we had (laughs) do you remember that it's so it's funny it just switched right now and i felt it um i'm like remember that one time where you were awkward as fuck in person (laughs) no that was yesterday as soon as you walked away he did that tiktok you're weird you're weird (laughs) Weird. why did you do that you're weird i literally was like (sighs) that was you that was you that literally i was like after I did it, I was like, I'm never going to say it. No, what you I know, did which, was so is, normal. I know, and it's so normal, but it's so hard when you have I a know. bad interaction that you're like, why did I even put myself out there? I feel so fucking uncomfortable. I and honestly awkward. cannot blame you because I would feel like, the exact same ugh. way. Knowing good and well, he probably received it honestly pretty good and probably was excited to hear that about it. Probably but the interaction was so, so fucking bad. awkward and bad oh, that's that horrible. I was like, am I just not supposed to like... That's compliment horrible. people no. or like what the fuck don't you dare say that I know, I know. And, I'm, and i'm gonna and i'm gonna still continue to try i'm still gonna do it okay but it's like now i'm like okay give me give me a couple days before i try to do it again <laughs> like i can't just like i can't gotta, just like compliment someone again like I need, I, need, I need to work myself back in i had a bad experience i need some time you need some time to recoup because it that. was fucking awkward and it's it doesn't help that he's like also like literally fucking gorgeous and like very fit and i'm just like i hope he doesn't think that i'm like trying to hit on him right now you know something I Which I don't like used to do actually came out to me through a TikTok therapist that it's a form of social anxiety that I didn't know was social anxiety. Mm. So after you are very social, let's say we go to an event or something around a lot of people we know, and then you go home and go to bed, I wouldn't be able to sleep. I'd be so wired. From and, the event. Uh-huh. And it's actually a form of social anxiety. If you're not able to like disconnect from that or you overthink everything that was said mm-hmm. and done at the event, it doesn't mean you're necessarily obsessed. It just means you but have like, social like, anxiety okay. uh-huh. about the social, what you just did that was socially, you're having anxiety about right now. I'm not surprised mm-hmm. at all because you, sometimes you won't even want to go to the event because you're like, I can't, I just don't have the energy for it. Yep. And that's definitely a form of like social anxiety. I don't like, want to get into can't that. give that right now. I don't want to give my energy. I mm-hmm. can't get into getting too social. I can't get into coming so home and having to deal with the anxiety of all the social interaction I have. Like, I just can't give all that energy right now. Mm-hmm. So I like definitely... Close off, but it's interesting. Like whenever I do close off, I'm like way happier. Like mm-hmm. I'm like ugh, relieved, and I'm like happier, enjoying my life, being me. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, I feel like I'm like that's bad. I don't know. I feel like it's on even that it's bad. I think it's all about like balance and yeah. making sure mm-hmm. that you are able to have those like experiences because it's honestly only going to help you grow as a person. Like it's it true. Just, it helps like you. staying home and just being happy. It's like you don't. If nothing changes, nothing changes. Also, you guys' Correct. line of work is like a little it's bit tough. different because it's tough. A lot of it relies on social interaction, right? Mm-hmm. Exactly. And it is a it's face like your job. time heavy yeah. job. Heavy like face we get job. a lot of experiences from meeting people. Like, also, like that's when you what it when is. you meet fans, like they're expecting the person that you are on 100%. YouTube. Which I'm not saying you're fake on YouTube, but like your YouTube is like it's. It's almost like it's a it's your job. Like it's yeah. it's something that you're like turning on for. You can't yeah. go on and be a drag on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Like I've done it before, and they've totally. let me know. Like on the podcast, I'm like fa- there. There have been earlier episodes where I'm like falling asleep, and like people have mm. said I was depressed or something. Was She's wrong. high. She's or depressed. high. Or like they said multiple things, and I'm like, oh god, no, I'm just not like that on because I'm like falling off. Right. Yeah. You know. Well, I also feel like podcast us is like our most like genuine us. Totally. Because totally. it's like not saying that our channel us isn't but like i feel like on my channel i'm a little bit more like me too 
Whereas and like this, I'm sure you are too. Like, Whereas this is more of like a real combo, like sit down, like chit chat. Like we're not like getting hype all the time, but we're not in lulls either. We're just, just like actually just that it's you guys just different produce on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, different. no, and it's and like that's like what I've made for eight nine years. Like that's yeah. just what I'm used to, and like that's what kind of content I like. But this is like just different. This is long form. Like we literally don't yeah. even cut. Yeah, we don't take breaks. Like we take breaks, but we don't like. You're not, we're not cutting between every sentence if we right, fuck right. up. Mm-hmm. Like, if we fuck up, we fuck up. Yeah. And you just keep it moving. Like, whereas the channels, I'm just not like that as much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm like, very, it's more curated. It is. Channel. It's more curated. It's like curated little videos, which are so fun to do. But I appreciate our audience because if, if they wouldn't allow us to like really be ourselves and be this real, this podcast wouldn't be as good. But like, they're yeah. so open with us mm-hmm. and not everything has to be perfect and perfectly said and but perfectly i don't think we've ever even been perfect on our stuff either though we haven't we haven't so they, they don't like, expect that but it's cool like i feel confident on this podcast because i feel like our audience isn't at our throat you know like 100%. oh you looked the wrong like picking everything apart mm-hmm. they like let the podcast be what it is and we do our best you know exactly and we just do it for, we're doing it for like fun too like absolutely this is one of our like really fun outlets yeah mm-hmm. oh gosh yeah. you know same with tyler he loves to be in that room just watching mm. it drains me <laughs> today drains me <laughs> so no, i'm gonna fine. my goal is to compliment someone else this week all right okay. i'm right here all right later on this no a stranger <laughs> i'm not talking like i'm talking about like a stranger um, like, for, like oh my god and, like the other day i commented it's like this like this guy that was next to me and the elevator, I looked down and I had nice shoes. I'm like, I like your shoes, by the way. Like something like that small nice. things like that. I love that. I always like hearing. So I'm like, if I, maybe if I give that, like they'll appreciate that too. You know what I mean? Definitely. Mm-hmm. You know? Definitely. Like comment, I was like, oh, you have nice makeup today, like to a girl or something. Yep. That's really they good. You don't have, they don't have to be strangers, Manny. It be people you know. Tyler, I literally commented on this room. the second I saw you. <laughs> it's true. You do. You do. I literally said, your haircut looks so good right <laughs> it's now. It's true. It looks fantastic. You. I look your hair done. I just got a cut today. Thank you. Appreciate that. He fishes He's for done. comments, though. He, he does. He's a fisherman. He's All a right. fisherman. And Should we move on? Out. We have to move on. This episode of Full Coverage is sponsored by Bare Necessities. Bare Necessities is one of the biggest online intimate apparel retailers. This private label offers over 140 of the best brands all in one place, which already sounds like music to my ears. And let's be real, guys. Bra shopping is never fun. So that's what's great about Bare Necessities. Their goal is to put fit and comfort above all else. But the best part is they're all about size inclusivity. With band sizes from 28 to 58, cup sizes from double A to O, and sizes extra small to 5XL, everyone can find the bra they like with Bare Necessities. Another thing I love about No Bare Necessities is the bra finder quiz. Finding the right size is one of the most challenging parts of bra shopping, but the bra quiz makes it so easy. However, if you still need help, Bare Necessities also has a team of bra fit experts to answer all of your questions. I've never really enjoyed bra shopping, but it's something thing that you know I have to do but bare necessities I no longer have to worry about finding a bra I like I know when I shop at bare necessities I find the bra that fits and is comfortable and it makes me feel good you guys can get 20% off right now of your bare necessities order when you go to bare necessities.com slash full 20 and use code full 20 that's code full 20 at bare necessities.com slash full 20 to get 20% off B A R E N E C E S S I T I E S dot com slash full twenty and use code full twenty. Some exclusions apply. Laura, I think you should start. We'll, we'll each do one where it's like, okay, we are all all right. going to ask a question to one another that's a little bit more, you know, risque, risque if you will. I want to start with but tonight. I want to. I, I have a question. I want to get out. Whoa, okay. Manny, perk your ears up because this one could be juicy. This feels Tyler, loaded. On you go on a Already. lot of guys' trips. You hang out with a. You have a lot of guy friends. A lot of guy friends. You spend a lot of time with your guy friends playing sports. Love a lot the boys. Of time with sports. You love the boys. You have a bunch of different boy groups. Has any of them cheated while you were out, or has any of them flirted, or had any like inappropriate? Who's boot up inappropriate behavior? Because I know Jesus. y'all get so rowdy. Y'all get rowdy. Y'all get rowdy as fuck. I mean, you get belligerent, like you said. You told us. Yeah. You okay, I don't us. get belligerent on these. <laughs> he strips. also has road rage. <laughs> <laughs> and you have road rage. Why? Oh why did you get that God. fresh cut? For who? 
For who? If it's not for me and Laura, then for who? Because I'm going on a guy's trip this weekend. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Imagine. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I got this fresh cut just for the podcast. That's, That's right. right. Okay, That's okay. right. I wasn't even gonna get it cut this week, but I was like, I'm gonna be on the podcast. I might as well yeah. look good for man. I've asked him to get a haircut right. for two weeks, so she has. Mm-hmm. I'm I, I'm growing. Answer it out. the question. Answer the question. Um has your any of your guys cheated, cheated. no cheated no. okay downright cheated, oh, cheated. No. not even no. on girlfriends not, and like so no kissing no, you haven't like, seen them kiss someone else in public no i've seen somebody cheat in my face but this was like back in high school mm. i was like oh shit but this was actually a chick that cheated on one of my guy friends and i was oh, like shit. oh shit Whoa. oh shit yeah, yeah oh shit yeah Damn. it was at a party and i was like oh but has any of your guys? I wasn't sure friends. what to do. I didn't tell him. I felt I, did, I, I feel literally so didn't know bad. what to do. I didn't, I didn't know tell what to do. him. We weren't like super close, okay. like best buds, but like I don't know. I just didn't know what to do. I mean, I, if you're my bestie, I'm definitely telling. It was you so know. awkward back then, though. Like I didn't know what to do back then. Yeah, and you school. probably you're also in high school, so you kind tell of like, answer awkward. the question. I said no, but not even but flirting. You flirting. Flirting, I would say yes. But like mm-hmm. nobody's being what does nobody's, flirting mean? Nobody's what taking this? anybody home. Yeah. Okay. But so that, like, but just see, like but make like going fl- beyond just like casual conversation. Oh, you know and they've done mean? that. Not like like yo know, like I'm like pursuing like you, you ready not pursuing. to right? Yeah. But like just like lingering. Like, hey, you look good today. Like very like yeah. Maybe not even mm. that direct, you know what I mean? Like, but you can tell that there's like, flirtation. yeah, 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 exactly. They're like keeping you them get the around. Vibe. I mean, you're you know, you get around. the vibe when you're around two people that are flirting. You get you the vibe. You can tell. Like, yeah. and they're kind of being like, oh my God, right, so crazy. And like, I want you guys to know, this dude's a vault. He doesn't tell me He's a vault. anything. I tell you, he knows I'm going to tell you. But why wouldn't you tell me? Yeah, he doesn't tell me, me anything. Yeah. You would tell me. His other friends will be out and stuff, and I'm like, oh my God, Tyler, why won't you tell me? Like, Ow, what do you mean? Like, I can't say, but like your other friends, when I'm around them, they'd be talking about drama. And I'm like, oh, uh, my God, Tyler knew. <laughs> and and he didn't like, tell me. I don't know what you're talking Tyler, about. Tyler. I tell you a lot of stuff. No. Yes, I do. Nope, Tyler. Nope, nope, nope. Is this an intervention? Am I the therapist? <laughs> yes. The thing is, if you're not telling Laura and by proxy me, <laughs> it's not fair. We need to know everything. We need to know everything. Because let me tell you something. When I come home and I always tell You're all the bitches in the this tea. industry, I say, listen up, lady. Stop mm-hmm. telling your friends. Go home and tell your husband when you're upset with someone or the tea. Like, they, right. keep it at home. Don't go running around this industry. Take it from me. Keep the trap closed. Go home and vent to your husband. I feel like I tell or you bestie. anything. Or your bestie. I feel like I tell you anything serious. Okay. But like if I see it I as like everything, if I see it as yeah. not so serious, sometimes I feel like maybe I wouldn't tell you because I don't want you. I don't want to skew your perception of someone. I knew I literally I and that's then exactly what I thought. It's that as well as like, OK, well, if you think this person's shitty, you're not going to want me to hang around them mm-hmm. either. Mm-hmm. I knew it. I knew it. That's exactly what I thought. So it's kind of the I don't mixture control of those who but you if hang it was, around. I know, but 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 again, but nice I don't to have want your like, spouse love your friends too. There exactly. are one or two people you hang around. I don't love. There's no one you hang around. I don't like. But there's one or two people I'm. But like, if I like was constantly telling you about how shitty they are, which I don't have any friends that I feel <laughs> like I would. What do you feel about that? They're constantly. <laughs> That they're constantly <laughs> shitty, but if I if it was the case, would you not tell me not to hang around that person? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then you also probably the one you're like, I know, I get it. Stop. Like, right. it, then it becomes almost. It could become like a. Then, then I'm in trouble. Yeah. And who? Why are you hanging out that? with them then? And why the fuck are you hanging out with them? Exactly. Mm. Laura, would you do that? Mm. Like, why the fuck are you hanging out with them then? If I if if I if someone downright cheated. Oh, for sure. I'd be like, like, what the fuck are you doing? That's yeah, so but awkward, like, though, like it is awkward whoa, 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 because whoa, whoa, whoa. I wouldn't be like you're not allowed to see them anymore. Like that's their their decisions. Yeah. Like at the end of the day, like I would hate to hear that about someone. Cause yeah. then Even I definitely be wrong. like, ooh, ooh, you know. But it w- but the thing is like it would change your perception of that person. Yeah, maybe. You know, well, you, guys so are so something that that serious. Like I understand the perception getting mm-hmm. changed. You know what I mean? Totally. But if it's something simple like. Like, oh, my flirting. buddy flirted. Oh, with, I just want to know the tea to know the tea someone. on that, though. Yeah. Oh, we, I okay. just want, I just, well, I'm wanting the tea as next well. Next time something tea. happens, I'll be sure to tell you. Tyler, but, you know we we want the tea. We want the tea. Okay. We just I'll want the tea. And also, you know what? You're going to save it. So when I go over to mm-hmm. your guys' house, you're going to tell us at the same time. The we can kiki. And we can, the hugo, you know that, you know, yeah. like the juice. Me and Manny have things where like, I have a story, but I can't tell you over text. Like, I'm going to have to wait till we're together. 
Because it's like a juicy. Just good like Laura will literally, just if like something today. happens, she's like texting Manny. I'm like this. Right away. You'll never believe what Aaron did to me uh -huh. today. Yep, yep, yep. yep. And, and it's because I'm a good listener and I give good reactions. And let me tell you something. <laughs> Manny's reactions. If Manny <laughs> didn't, if Manny had a big mouth, which he doesn't. Thank God. I definitely would not tell him, but it's like really nice to have a friend and no information doesn't go anywhere because at the end of the day, like I would never want to spread information. You know what I Same. mean? Like I, I would never want... I for agree. something to go around because I open my mouth. Now I'm not perfect and sure I've made mistakes in the past, but I'm in my thirties. Like I'm not trying to cause anyone any grief. T totally. I mean, I'm not going to say like that. I've never talked shit about people before. Cause I have. That, yeah. I absolutely have. And like, and you know what? Sometimes I feel like it's not that I'm even talking shit about someone. It's like, I feel like I need to vent about it because like I'm so cooped up about something that once I get out the demons, get out the venting, I feel like, you know what? I'm okay. That's Same exactly indeed. how I'm I chilling. feel. And that's why I tell you guys, because it doesn't <laughs> go any. Demon. The semen demon, okay. as Holly would say. If I can just get the demon out of like, Laura, like, let me just like vent. Let me just vent real quick because I'm yep. like feeling frustrated about something. And once I get it out, I'm like, you know what? That wasn't even something I really need to like care about. And then you'll mm -hmm. give me a different perspective, which is mm -hmm. always so nice too. Mm -hmm. That I'd be like, you know what? You're so right. I read into it. But I don't even think that's talking shit. I think that's more like a, a venting thing. Yeah. And if it is talking shit, then I'm talking. Yeah. And too fucking bad. Then too fucking bad. And too fucking but bad. To go back to your question, I don't, I, not that literally I can even think of. Like, I don't, I, none of my friends have ever like cheated on like any That's of these good. Trips. That's good. But like, That's I also good. don't hang out with like a lot of dudes that I feel like actually would do that. Yeah. And I also hang out with like a lot of single guys because. You mm, do. So they can't technically cheat. Right. And they're the ones that do the single. crazy shit. So. Yeah. Yeah. And they're the crazies. They're the crazies. Mm -hmm. so I know a lot of your friends. Insane, like you. And they're. Yeah, you know, no, we can get wild. It's not like you're, yeah. you're not, you're not. Wrong. Tell her as gay friends, just like I me. Know. I do. He I know. does. I do. Tell her as gay and not friends. Not me. Like I'm talking like not me. Yeah. That prefer to hang around the dudes. The straight guys. The straight guys. Mm -hmm. He does, and Those his group guys, is very guys. accepting, mm -hmm. and I love them for that. Have you met? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah yeah they're so yes. sweet so, okay so, someone so else asked a question okay. okay wait you asked me so let me ask let me ask manny okay. and we'll get him involved and then i'll ask laura all right so we'll go like this boom, boom boom and then backwards okay all right manny who mm -hmm. as an influencer oh would you hook up with oh. and i want a man and a woman you're giving me two <gasps> you're giving me two if you put yourself in the situation of you're a straight man Okay, okay. You as up. a man and as a woman. Yeah, I want an influencer. And then someone in the industry. You can't say me. You can't say Laura. You can't say me. Laura doesn't count. That's a cheap shot. <laughs> also, she's married. <laughs> well, they could be married they too. Be married. They can, they they can, can be married. Okay, so I'm going to go with you that. guy. My immediate guy was probably going to be Chris Appleton. Honey, he didn't waste a breath. Wait, who's Chris Appleton? Mm. He's a, a celebrity hairstylist. But he's also like an influencer. Oh, I know him. I met him. He's not into you. Wait, what? Why would you, you say he's not him? into him? I did meet him. Why would you I'm say he's not into me? I have you no him? idea. No, I was joking. He could be. No, there's no. Like, Wait, it's have you met him? You know him? No, I've never. I've never. You know, I feel like I've seen him in passing a few times, but I've never been like, hey, I'm Manny. Like, nice yeah. to meet you. I've never done that. Yeah, like a proper introduction. No, I've never like properly no, introduced myself, we, but I've always had like a little crush on him. We met him uh, during the Katy Perry live thing that you did. Oh, yeah. He does. He does. He used to do Katy's hair or does Katy's hair. He was literally doing Katy's hair while you were doing her makeup. He's so tall. Are He's you like joking me? How I you remember not... meeting him, but I feel like maybe I've met him twice now because I didn't remember that. Maybe you know business. who he was then. No, I always knew who Chris was. Yeah. Well, I don't know. But mm -hmm. I always had a crush on him, so I feel like that that would be like my... He okay. foine. He foine. He's kind of foine. All right, girl. He kind of foine. Girl is really tough, though. <laughs> yeah. Girl is a well, lot harder. there's a harder. lot of girls. Because there's so many girls mm -hmm. that are like literally stunning and wonderful. And I want you to imagine hooking up with them. Can like, you yeah. not? Like, yeah. I don't want to think about like being naked with the girl. Yeah. No. I, let me go through my close friends list. Hold yeah. Because this is hard. Because I'm not going to pick Laura. Like, that's already really nope. hard. Nope. Like, that's fucking tough. Nope. Dude. Let me go through my. Hold on. Let me go through my close friends. Give me a second. Because this is hard. <sighs> the thing is, like, I have so many hot girlfriends. You do. But which one would you hook up with? Because you're like, wow, she's so stunning. But, like, I don't. I literally don't want to sleep with, like, any girls. What about. That's my issue. Mm, maybe not. What about sleep? like Mary? I was gonna say, what? It, what Who's about Mary? one you could see? Can I marry? Uh, wife you fucking idiot. Who is, <laughs> Who's Mary? Do whose wife idiot. material? No, wife I want material. hook up. This is my question. <gasps> hook up. That so you like hook 
Oh my uh, god, it's like literally sex. Plow. Plow? Oh okay, god. you're taking it too far. You're scaring me. Stop. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? Let me look at my close friends list right here. Who am I plowing? I'm gonna plow <laughs> CJ. Okay, Perfect. CJ Perry, because she's so hot. Absolutely. She's so cool. She's just like a down to earth ass bitch. Yeah, and like, CJ, I you really heard that. Her. CJ's she's mine hot. too. CJ yeah. would be mine like, too. And she's hot and like, She's so cool. I feel like it would be the least awkward. And that's why I feel I was like, I feel like she wouldn't be awkward about it. Like we'd be like, yo, like let's bang this out really quickly. I have to do this. <laughs> it's life or Tyler's death. Making me. Gun at the head. Like I have to do this. And like feel like she'd be like cool about it. Like she'd be like, you know uh, what? CJ's Even though so she's married, funny. but she's married. She's married. Because she was single. But you know, like it would have to be CJ for sure. Okay. All right, Manny. I like your answer. Question. Question for you. Oh shit. That's you. No, that's Laura and going back like this. Yeah. My question for Laura, I'm scared. Is scared. when <gasps> do you want to have kids? <gasps> right now, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wait, what? A shock. And I've never even asked. Like, I'm, and I've never even asked like in front of Tyler too. Oh, this will That'd be, be kind of juicy. It's it's I feel like it's more in interesting me. because Tyler's here. I like that. I like that. Well, me and Ty talk about it all the time. Mm, like all the time, like weekly, mm -hmm. daily. It just comes up in conversations. Yeah, yeah like it happens. It happens. But I still. I'm Laura gonna... sends me TikTok. Sorry to interrupt you about uh, like women's post trauma, yeah, trauma. trauma. Yeah. And I tell him this is she what I'm not wanting to do. Mm -hmm. um, and she tells me that we would have a kid by now if it wasn't for. No, no, trauma. No, 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 no. You're reading that wrong. Okay. There's so much more reasons why I don't want to have a well, kid. No, no, I, just that. Like, I meant that. Like, there's that's so many bigger reasons. Yes, it's, it's, there's, there's so. I'm referring to the TikToks you're sending. Yeah. Okay. Well, there are bigger. Have you seen the list one? Like the when the woman that's like, making a list of why she doesn't want a kid. There was like this one video where I just saw it. And I literally saved it to show you. I shouldn't be showing you. Actually, you know, I'm not even gonna show you. Trauma. I'm not showing you this trauma because I want you know. Um, her. She was like, look what my kid just did, and she went like this. Her. Oh, ear, I saw that. Is ripped in half. It's ripped in half like a Pac-Man. So then it's it like she have gauges. It's, no, the kid, the kid ripped the like, It just ripped it, like went like this and ripped Ow. it out. And it's literally like oh, ripped it in half. Now. It's literally in it's half. Like, it's like the ear, Ow. the ears in half. And I was like, Ugh! like I was so shook by it. And then there's like uh, this woman that like stitched it. It was like kid will rip out and turn your ear into a Pac-Man. <laughs> but there's like a list of like three hundred things that like could happen. During pregnancy, and I was like, "Fucking shit!" I feel like my life would have been easier if I just wanted to be a mother. Hundred percent. Why would your life be easier? Wouldn't your life be harder? No, it'd be no, easier because then it. you would want all those things. Like you would want all those things that come with having children. You wouldn't mind them because you oh, want I to be a saying. mother. Mm -hmm. That would be why. But I don't like you want wouldn't care about all those things. that or the kids. Like you can get <laughs> really, that. I don't want either. Have you ever thought about like surrogacy though? In a way, like you don't have to go through it bodily. Yes, but it's still your own like yes egg and your sperm and it's like the whole like thing. I do. Just not the oven. But what if we froze your eggs? I would be interested in, I'm not interested in surrogacy because I just don't think I'm interested in doing that. Yeah. Like, I'm just not that interested in doing that. Mm -hmm. Um, fr Freezing eggs, yes. Yeah. Um, and A lot of people freeze their eggs. Right? I would, like, especially I like would right freeze now. my eggs. Yeah. There was like uh, something that went around where this woman froze her eggs like 30 something years ago and she just had two kids well, You're yeah. joking. From, from the frozen One of eggs. the new Real Housewives on Beverly, they just brought her in. She's 47 and she just had a baby. And she carried really? it because she froze her eggs and she just at 47 Can had a baby. Can she carry that though? Mm -hmm. She carried it. Yeah. Because I think oh. that's the issue. They put it it's like, not that you can't carry it. You, you, run out, you, you run out. You run out. But you're not producing. You're not producing, you're not producing them at like producing. a, like a, you would the have rate. to time the pregnancy or like fertilization like that. Uh -huh. Got it. It's hard. Rate, exactly. Way harder. Rate. I would totally freeze my eggs. Um, and, But here's the thing. All the trauma like women go through, I definitely deep dive because I feel like it's smart to be educated to really know what you're getting yourself into. But then it's also like it's hard. It's like a double edged sword. It's horrible. You want to know what's going on. It's horrible. But you, but you also don't want to be almost like scared out of it. So like this, it's like this weird double edged. It is sword and some, into looking into postpartum. You know, and right. some days I have to be willing to kiss my old life goodbye too i really mm -hmm. do mm -hmm. um and that's hard for me to let go of my life now because i'm happy yeah so it's hard when you're happy um and so some days i'm like oh 
it would be great if we had a child. Like some days I feel like that. Yeah. Like right now, like it would be great to like have that. Like I would love to have that. And some days I cannot even fathom having having a kid. And I think the thought of having one makes me ill. Yeah. Like, so it's like a day to day thing with me. And I think a lot of people probably relate to that. Ill. Like it it literally makes me like, oh. Like it's spooks you. Like, uh, it's like yes. shocking. We and did like, just get rid of an 18-year-old. Well, she's 19 now. Mm-hmm. But, mm-hmm. She's 19 now. We still haven't got rid of her, but... Everybody's like, did Aaron make you want to have kids? Still- and I'm like, <sighs> honestly, no. But in a way, you were... Not that did she make you was not you as your kid, obviously, but it gave you, like, a, I feel like a little bit of a sample of, like, what it could potentially be like yeah. having your own. Yeah. In a much different way, obviously, because she was in, a, in her, like, right. late 15 teens. years we old. We definitely gone through a lot with Aaron because we didn't raise Aaron from birth, so we right. went through... A lot of struggles that a normal a parent wouldn't deal with. A lot of struggles. Well, totally. you never know what you're going to get, but... I think it probably a lot of things would have went differently with Aaron if we had her since birth, but things aren't always perfect and that's how they happen sometimes. But so I do feel like my own kid would be like a bit of a different experience. I really do. Oh, for sure. um, Versus taking in like a 14 year old. Right. Like like, there's just certain values that I feel like you can instill in your kid when you raise them from birth versus getting in a 15 year old and trying to instill those values into her. It's so much harder. It's so hard. hard. Especially what the thing is also like if they're, used to growing up one way and like that way is not there and it's like trying to instill like let's say someone that has no structure going into something with structure it's like which is why the fuck do i do this which is what it was so it's like well why do i do this i didn't have structure before like why do i have to listen to you guys so it's like this weird dynamic of that right but that wouldn't i don't think that would necessarily be the case if you know you birth aaron has challenged me in more ways than i could ever imagine definitely Absolutely. she is really and like obviously i would never air out her dirty laundry i've given you guys iceberg Snippet. stuff snippets, snippets iceberg. tiny tiny iceberg tiny tips. snippets yeah. but i would never get into the deep stuff because she doesn't deserve personal. that and yeah. that's personal but it has challenged me more than in- she's still challenging I've even ever now, thought that it would. Even she is, even in the she has made my gray city. hair turn white. <laughs> <laughs> it went from gray. And I'm watching all these little mamas pop out. All these little mamas pop out. It's about to be clear. No, it's about to start falling out. It's about to be bald. Uh-huh. I'm watching all these little mamas pop out, all these babies, and I'm like. Just you wait. Just you wait. But I'm sure, yes, again, it's would. so different. It is that. different because yeah. their babies, I'm not saying Aaron's not great. Aaron's great. But, I mean, they may not face some of the similar challenges I've faced because they have raised their children from start to finish. So maybe a different experience. To- I feel like it would be definitely different. Yeah. So to answer the question. I don't know. I don't know. Catch me on a good day. I might get knocked up. But, what was uh, the question again? When. When. Oh, Do you when. want to have kids? Then. When do you Tyler, want to have kids? when do you want kids? Have kids? This that your question, question was not for I don't care. We both asked. Yeah, but we're already, we but we're already here. We're, we're here. We're already here. We've opened a can um, of worms. I don't know. I mean. Do you feel like I, Laura where it's like sometimes you have days where you're like, I would love it. And sometimes you don't want it. I feel like I in my like 20s, I kind of just like had this fantasy about it. Mm-hmm. And like. I don't know what to where I just felt like, oh, like this is what you're supposed to do. You totally, know? like the like social that, norm. It's like the social norm. Right. I don't know. I feel like it's just kind of, it's also like kind of built into human beings. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. that's, that's how we are, where we are and how we have, how many billion people was eight. it just recently? Eight. eight. Oh, was it more than or eight? Nine. We, we crossed eight, nine. I think. Oh. And that doesn't happen without that. Right. So like, it's just built into us mm-hmm. and maybe some people don't feel it like other people do or feel it at all. But I don't know. I, I guess like I just kind of fantasized about it, but like I I've told Laura this from the beginning. Like I married her for her, not the idea of having a kid. So like if it never right. happens with us, like I'm perfectly happy and I'm perfectly fine. If it does ha- happen, then that's great. Mm-hmm. I just like I don't have that biological clock ticking. Totally, it's different. It's much hard. As it's, hard. Her. it's way harder. So mm-hmm. like I can have a kid in my 40s, and also it doesn't take a toll on my body when mm-hmm. I'm in my 40s having mm-hmm. a kid as opposed to Laura. So Dang, it's just like I ain't that close to 40. I'm no, I'm just no, saying. but like it would it would take a lot. It would be a lot harder. You're not concerned. I'm watching these men in 60s on Real Housewives right. popping out babies exactly. left and right, so truly in their 60s. That's not the concern for me, but like it's crazy. The concern for you is like, like I, I get it. Like you're, you're enjoying your life. Like you're happy with where you are right now. But then you also have the flip side of that, which is like where if you wait till it's till you're much mm-hmm. older, then it's like more detrimental to your health and complications it is. It and, is. Complications That's true. and That's like true. and just taking care of a kid in your 40s is it's much different than taking care is. of a, an infant in your 30s. Yeah. Like, mm. 
But then, like, also, I, I run through. I don't, I'm just so back and forth. I no, run I, through I, in my I head. We were. I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm in my 30s right now, and I would love to be able to like play and run and have fun with my kid. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. whereas like in my 40s, like you can still do that, of course. Right. But, like, there's a time limit. Right. Like, yeah. And also, like, sometimes I think about it because obviously, even for me, like, I don't. You know, I don't know if it's because I'm gay or like what it is, but like, I don't have You're- like this internal like feel like i need kids mm-hmm. i just don't like have and it and that's okay and i feel like i did have it when i was younger but as i've gotten older i don't have it anymore and like i don't necessarily even like want a kid mm-hmm. like i'm just like oh i'm like so content and like so happy right. mm-hmm. that i don't feel like i need that you know in some way but like i i do think about I'm like well if i were to do it like should i do it now because like i'm only gonna ever be as young as i am right in this moment and probably gonna only be as healthy as i am right right now like right internally you yeah. know yeah and it's like if my kid, if I had my kid now, like they wouldn't have me as a parent for as long. And like, that's not fair. That's something that's that what I think, I think about. about. Too. It's like, I don't know yeah. about that. I, do I had my parents for a really short time. I feel. Right, 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 right. You had your parents for a very short amount of time. So yeah. Like mm-hmm. It's just, yeah, it's so bizarre. And like I the, don't have the juxtaposition. That fear. Yeah. 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 I don't have that fear. I all the time think about how old my parents were when they had me and, and like, Oh, when I was like 10, they were this age. Yeah. I'm like, oh, shit. That's like, I'm getting too. close to that age now. And yada, yada you know what I mean? Like, yeah. And I'm like, I was and, 10. And I time. thought they were old as shit. <laughs> no, literally. Yeah. Well, literally. Then, like, our kid will think accurately. Oh, when they God. think we're old as shit, it's because we're it's old as we're shit. because we're actually old as fucking oh, dust. Okay. Oh, my. I Great. saw like a tweet or something like that that was like, it said something like, you remember your your parents' old decrepit friend from when you were a kid? Yeah, they were 32. And I'm oh, like, yeah. oh, my God, I'm 32. <laughs> like, that hits. Like, that hits hard. It is. That hits fucking hard, it but it's true. It My parents had me at like 19 and 18. So I'm like, Jeez, they had me really? so young. So I've had them for such a long yeah. time yep. that I worry. I'm like, your well, parents were kids. They were kids yeah. when they had me. So I'm like, wait, well, you're like, not should I have been? No? Were you on purpose? I th- yeah, I was on purpose because they were married when they had me. So I was like, I feel like. That's young. I get, I get nervous to like even think. Gosh, like, your parents are so young. Yeah. They are. Like, they're pretty young. like for your age, they're, they're like very 50. young. Super young, yeah. They're 50. Yeah, I'm 31. His parents are young. Mm-hmm. I, my parents were in their early 20s I was or the mid last 20s born. when they had me early 20s mm-hmm. with my brother totally I different I feel like as far as like a kid goes like like I was saying in my 20s I want it was if I feel like it it shifted from like a need to more of a want now if you get what mm-hmm. I'm saying yep I, like, I literally feel the exact same. not need but like definitely mm-hmm. felt like you get what I'm saying mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. by the way I want to thank our listeners because do you remember whenever I brought up the TikTok with the girl was like if you need that social downtime you need free time you shouldn't yes. have kids and yes. that really like hung with me I was like Ugh. so the way everyone who has children in the podcast they really helped me with that and that is actually no longer a fear of mine because mm-hmm. I read all the comments and they were like listen girl so you know how you need social time away from people but then you go home it's like your niece your cat your husband you don't need a break from them and I'm like, right. no, never. I, right. I truly never feel like I'm like, oh, okay, I need to lock myself in the bedroom. Time, you know, a long time's nice, time but away. honestly, yeah. I could be with them forever and ne- it, I never need to recharge. Mm-hmm. She's like, that's like, c- children that's- wear you out, but she was like, you're not going to feel like your social batteries drain with a totally, child. You're not social it's with a family kid. member. Yeah. It's a part of you. So right. it's just like the things you put up with your pets, you know how other people's pets that would like kill you, you and annoy yep. you. Mm-hmm. You notice how when it's your own pets, it's just like annoying, but you, it's not as bad because it's totally. like your child. It's yours. They like broke it down for me like that. They're like, it's so different when it's your own kid. Like everything's mm-hmm. different. Like yeah. you, it's not as bad as like anytime you see, like I'm telling you this baby screams so loud and you know, I was like, Oh, I can't remember where I was. I wanted to just scream. I think mm-hmm. I was like in a mall or something. Uh-huh. And I was like, oh my God, what if that's what my house would be like 24 seven? Those right. screams, like just like the crazy. But that's how those parents ignore it though. They do because exactly like, you saying. don't hear that's it. Probably. You don't yeah. hear it when it's your own child. Like you're able to like deal with it better. And it's yeah. not that traumatizing, you know, when it's your own. So that like helped me so much and it gave me so much actual perspective on like what's having a child's like not that i think it wouldn't be challenging but like just that fear is now gone for me yeah i'm like got it it's a different kind of connection yeah totally totally it's your own it's different Mm -hmm. like honestly saying like i know you so well like when you come over i'm not like oh i need a social battery break yeah you know it's like because i'm we can just do our like we can just mm -hmm. chill and do our own thing and so can imagine a child it's like it's just part of yours. You. Yeah, it's, it's part, part of, of you. It's your, you it's literally there. made it. I yeah. think they get less annoying. Also they do the also. But if I could squirt out like a 
six year old maybe i mm. love them like i would love that i would mm -hmm. love to have honestly like if i could have like a five or six year old now i would love that like to take care of a young child that would be make me so happy Wait, that like sounds so fucking like it's great so and be my little partner also, my little lover you know like, how you're talking about like you have to go home to like them and like your social batteries drained when they get a certain age they go to school so you do get a break i know but it's kids. a long time it's a long time before they go to school. Four years. Five to six. Unless How old are you? Aren't you four when you got a kindergarten? No, you're not five. four. That's five, okay. Five, four. Five, yeah, five, five to six. Five or six. Five, five or six. Okay, we got to move on. We do. Got it. I, I, I have, a, I have a um sexy question yes. for you. <gasps> or the sexual, sex, sex question. So you do participate in gay sex? I do. Shocking. I do. Have you ever gotten caca on your pee pee? <laughs> I have. Maddie! Uh, I have. You enjoy poop play? You like I poop don't. play? I don't. But the thing is, like, it's... If you are having anal sex... How many times? How many times has... Have, 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 have I had have, it on me? Uh-huh. I would say, like, I think twice ever. Okay, that's not bad. So that's not, not bad. bad. Like, that's, that's really not, not that bad. Um, But I feel like if you are participating in, like, anal sex, you have to be aware that that's a possibility. Uh, it's a risk. It's a risk. And, like, it doesn't even, like... You can be the cleanest bitch ever. Oh, you can be a douche. It's you whatever's so in your things. intestines are up there. It, like literally, I'm like, you can, there's like two types of douching, right? So there's douching that's like the quick douching. That's like just like the, the colon, like really quick, angel, like the cleansing. Where like, you'll be good for like 30, 40 minutes. Water. Like when you, yeah, put water up there mm -hmm. and then you water empty bottle. it out, which everything's cleared. You could, you can, that's like the, a, a way of doing it. Um, and then there's like the douching that's like you go like way up into like the intestines a little bit where you douche higher and that's like you could be that takes a lot longer oh, and that's like more like an hour wow. of douching oh to like make God. sure it's like all is that clear. like a special apparatus that you use? you can like it's there's like a thing that you can it's attached to like your shower head and it's like a little like hose that's your shower head mm -hmm. a lot of gay men have like is this a I shower never head. knew this there's a shower head that gets attached to this is what we shower ask head, questions but it's like a little hose that's attached to your water and then you you can like. And it shoots up water. I feel and you like can put I it. need that just to is, clear my well, mouth. No, I was going to say, mm -hmm. is this healthy? Like, is this something you should actually do? As long as you're Besides, not doing, you're not supposed to like put soap or anything up there. And as long as it's like just like lukewarm water, then you should be completely fine. Because it's more so just stimulating you to like act, like actively use the restroom. Yeah. Oh my God. You learn something new. So I think every that, like, day. so yeah. So the thing is, if you mess up the douching process and you are on the, like, in between, like, if you douche too much, like in the small area, and it goes up there, and then like you have to do the large just, douche, or else you're just like doomed. It's it's a time bomb. It could be a time exactly. bomb. Like it literally could be like a complete disaster, I or see. like or you'll get water trapped up there, oh. and you can be having sex and letting water come out. Oh uh. my god! Mm -hmm. Like it's absolutely a. Oh, I'm squirting. It's like it's like a squirt. That's complication. But not the way you want oh it to. Oh my god! Well, thank you for your honesty. Wow. You're so welcome. Your candor. My candor. My candor. Your candor. Um, but yeah, it's definitely definitely happened to me before multiple times. Tyler, you're gonna ask. And you've done that before too. No. Okay. I've been very aware. She's a clean girl. Uh, Do you remember when I told you guys about that one time where, like, the guy was, like, having sex and he was topping me and he shit himself <gasps> on my bed? No. Yes, remember when I had, I had a, like, throw the blanket away? No. <laughs> I just remember the boat guy. No, I'm talking about the one, like, that was topping me. Oh, my God. I was bottom he and I douched. Stop it. No, literally. He shit his self? No. Oh, so my this is, God. So this is what How happened. tight is your boat? No, so this is what happened. He oh. was kind of drunk and he like had came over. Oh, shit. And this is like when I like, lived over. with my parents in San Diego. No. I was like, oh my God, I was like young and so stupid. Oh. So I remember I like went, I was I was like, okay, come to my room. So I douche because I was like, I'm going to be prepared. Like I knew I was going to be the one that was going to bottom that night. So I prepared myself. And so condom on, fully safe. I was bottoming. And then he stops and he's like, I smell shit. Oh. And he's looking down at me because like it's wearing that. And I'm like, I. What are you talking so about? So he's like, trying I to blame you. Yes, he's like, I smell shit. It ain't me, my boy. And I was like, I, I cleaned myself, and I literally was like, I, I douched. Like I don't, I don't know what you mean. And he's like, No, I smell shit. And I was like, What? So then he pulls out of me, rips the condom off, and he's like this, smelling the condom. And I'm like, That's weird. Ew. That's so weird. Like, why are you doing that? And he's like, mm, I don't really smell anything. And I'm like, Yeah, because I cleaned myself. Like I, that's why I don't tell anything. He turns around, he shit himself <gasps> while topping me How did all you not over. Know? Oh my, my blanket. god! So he might have like tried to fart or something, and he just shit himself without even realizing it. 
So how? how did that end? Um, He was like, he turned around and he was like, oh, it's me. <gasps> this is trauma. This and is I was a, like, this is a holy, trauma. I was like, are you serious? And he's like, yeah. Guys, and, and this I was is... like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And I obviously felt so bad. I wasn't saying Manny. sorry, but I was like, oh my God, are you okay? Like, do you want to here, hop in my shower real quick? Because I felt so bad, even though he was like low key, like shaming me. I was like, <laughs> yeah, oh my he was God, trying no, to cover okay. your ass. Yeah, he was trying to come for me. And I was like, no, it's okay, okay, go in my shower. And literally, like, the blanket, and it was like the nice blanket from like oh. TJ, where no. like you go like across the border, get it. I know what back. you're talking the about. The big ones, yeah, the you know, thick, the, the thick, thick, the thick woven, Mexican blanket. Yep. Yes. So it was that blanket. So I remember like bundling it all up and going out into my trash can <sighs> while he was showering, and like I threw it in the trash can at the bottom of it. Wow. The outside trash can, not the ones in my house. Of like, course. Outside. Of course. You blame me so on I came back to your mom. And so I, I was obviously like completely like out of it after uh -huh. that and now he was showering and he came out and he's like sorry about that like i don't know what happened and i was like it's okay okay it's okay it's um, okay it's all okay. get home safely you know half <laughs> we're, we're done i was done i was like I, after that like it completely brought me out of the fantasy oh my God. um and i was like him shitting himself while fucking me didn't make any sense to me <laughs> honey none at all none. no sense at how all how is it that you're gonna shit yourself and blame me when i douched <laughs> this is why i ask these questions guys do you see the uh, stories guys we get? this is our christmas episode this right is our here. holiday happy episode. merry christmas happy, happy holidays Hanukkah, kwanzaa kwanzaa all the above thank yeah. you for that detail manny you're welcome all right I Tyler. More detail, but i want to say monetized <laughs> <laughs> um all right you're asking is it my me? turn yeah oh okay. it's your turn it's my turn it's my turn it's wait my i turn. asked you that uh -huh. so he yeah, has me and then boom, and then boom. oh my you. god you're right you're right you're right you're right oh mm -hmm, lay it on mm -hmm. me manny lay it on me okay my second question i've never my myself. first question to you is gonna be what was your worst brand experience? Mm. Brand trip, brand experience. You've obviously been part of a lot with Laura, mm -hmm. and I've been there with a bunch of them as well. Us three have been, Us three been a through, lot. So, like we've traveled the world together, literally. We truly have. Um, so what has been like your least favorite? Because we've done like a brand dedicated episode. Yep. Yeah. What's been your least favorite brand experience? Okay. Um, the most traumatic one that I can think of off the top of my head mm. was when you guys got canceled. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> it was a good trip. It was, it was, it was a, a gorgeous trip. trip. And I will say we got canceled on the last day. Last, very end of it. The very end very, of the last very, day. Very end. Scarring the and trip jarring. was done. It was Scarring wrapped. Jarring, 100%. I was packed and going to the airport whenever shit really hit the fan, to be honest. Worst trip. Not on my, like, like, like because it was, our, it was time to go home. What would you say? I said worst trip hands down for me. But like the trip itself was nice. The trip was nice, but like that just. But like, the experience, that it obviously experience, like shrouds. Definitely. I don't ever want to go to Ibiza again. When me and Laura went to Ibiza recently, we relived it. Did you relive? Did it help? Did was it therapeutic? It was therapeutic. It was therapeutic because of how so nice. much it didn't bother me. Same. It was so nice. If you took me back there right after it happened, I would definitely um, have been like triggered and like because yeah. we actually one of the venues we went to was the place we got canceled at or like that like where like the the moment happened. The moment, happened, the moments happened, moments happened, and we ended up actually the brand rented out the exact because the bees is a tiny island, mm -hmm, yeah, and so there's not a lot for massive parties of like fifty people. No, right. So they Menus. took us back to the same amazing venue and. And I didn't even know it was the same place until Manny looked at me and he's like, Laura, look around. And I was like, I was like, do you recognize this place? And that then was a cool place. I had, oh, it, it was, was so cool. And honestly, like when we saw it this time, I liked it more. I liked it way more. Because it was at like sunset. It was at sunset. We it went there during the day party. It was insane how like, I've never seen like honestly like it. i've never seen anything like it it Ever. was incredible and but it, when i pointed out to you were you like holy oh, fucking it shit all, you, it spooked you for a second i said we talked on that beach right there um, that's where you took your last instagram picture mm -hmm. i sat in that pool and talked to nikita mm -hmm. like like everything there was like came a back. cave out there yeah i was like swimming exactly. around yeah. in like no, a cave no, and it Still literally there. is a cove it was like literally in a yeah. cove mm -hmm. it was really and cool. so when we were there at sunset i was like wait this is like breathtakingly insane but i was like shocked to be there because i was like we're here right now I in this exact same spot me and you four on years a brand later trip. On a brand <laughs> trip on a look brand at us. fucking trip look at us who'd have thought and i truly would have never in a million years thought like we would get to the spot where we could be there and feel like okay and be fine i never thought that either like i never i always thought i would carry that with me and i really haven't you know i, mm -hmm. I mean granted it took me years it took us four years it took us four years mm -hmm. but 
I'm happy now. And yeah, it, it's like all good. And I see so much light and I see so much direction, growth, change, just so much good that happened in my life. So much bad that came from that, but also so mm -hmm. much good. And mm -hmm. so like, I really can't be mad at it. Well, other than that, no trip. Like, I feel like I had a lot of fun. He's also the just most easygoing person. And easy he doesn't going. have to make content on Easily, trips. easily, yeah. No content that I have to make. <laughs> so like, these nice. trips are a breeze to Must me. Nice. I don't know. What you Do you remember when I, like, hopped on your brand trip? <laughs> Which and one? to Fiji, <laughs> genius! I love it. Another fun trip. Genius, it was I love lovely. it. Lovely, and I didn't have required content. And I do it again. Ba, ba, and ba. how great was that trip? It was lovely. It was I loved it so it much. Beautiful. Remember we played like tennis that was honestly out there. One of the best yeah. trips. The so weather so wasn't fun. even that great. No, it was, a, no, it was amazing. It was I one had of the, the best most trips. amazing time. I was yeah. living in your guys' bungalow. Yeah, no, he was in like the mother-in-law house. Yeah, 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 the mother-in-law house. <laughs> that was so much fun. That's where you that was... keep your the nanny usually. That's yeah, where the I was nanny like, I was the two nanny. plus one. The manny, and nanny. they're like, sure. <laughs> sure, you owe double content. I know, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, if you want to do double the content. <laughs> okay. Double yeah. the deliverables. I'll just make you be in it with me then. Yeah. Was there a trip that you guys didn't like enjoy besides the actual like working for the content? It was like a I just trip know for some guys... trips have been like a little less fun because like we had to do so much. So much content. For me, I think it's always there's like been like little things at random trips that have been like, oh, I didn't like that. Like random situations right. have happened. Like that was like, oh, I'm going to say so whenever comfortable. you're older, it's hard to allow a brand or anyone to have control over that many days in your life. Like the it's more, hard the to, the older you get, it's hard to like jump on these. When you're young, it's fun. But when you're older, like you start to have your own opinion. You start to want to do your own thing. You know, you aren't, we've earned our own money. So it's kind of mm. like hard to let a brand be like, okay, everyone on the X, bus. Y, we're going to have you for the Monday whole day Thursday. out here. Monday through Thursday. It's like, mm. Yeah, because as, as I get older and like now if I'm going on a brand trip, like I'm not susceptible really mm. to like the itinerary as much mm -hmm. for me now i use itinerary more of like as a loose guide <laughs> <laughs> Mady said oh, i'm no, gonna tell you on this trip oh thank you for inviting guide. me it's gonna be a guide it's for gonna me. be a guide for me and i'm gonna <laughs> pick what i want to do mm -hmm. it's more of a guide and it's and i think that the reason that is because friendships do take a lot out of you that i'm like i need to be able to now like uh allocate time for like myself on these trips because yes i if i don't and i'm doing xyz throughout the days i'm gonna be so burnt out by the end of it that i'm like i never captured any of your content by the way like and i couldn't also, do any of it and i, I also went crazy and i went crazy and i got sick <laughs> yeah. so it's like now i'm just like yeah. a little bit more like aware that i can't like run on fumes on brand trips anymore like yeah. i was also Especially, capturing a lot of content for you on you, were, you were so. you were wasn't like I wasn't doing anything, I, but I would he partake. Was. Remember, like, he when, was. like, the drone was a big phase? I would phase. partake. Remember, yes. like, the, the, Not drone, the fucking phase? drone Remember when I crashed mine in the water? Mm -hmm. But they gave us a new one on that trip anyways. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> wow, Tyler. <Most> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Okay, my question to Laura. Oh! Um, nice. I don't know. I just know you so well don't that I know crazy. the answer don't to everything. So I feel like mine's not that crazy. Hit me. But I'm going to hit you with it anyways. Kay. What is the craziest thing that you have done and used your clout to do oh it? Oh my God. I was like, where are we going with this? I'm scared. <laughs> What's the craziest thing I've ever done? Yeah. Uh, What's the most with clout? insane? Give me something crazy with clout. Like clout. Like how I'm going to be honest. Clout? And use your following. And Manny can vouch for this. I don't really use my clout much. There is one way I've used it a few times um, and sometimes it's worked. Sometimes it hasn't. But like in L.A. at certain restaurants, it's really hard to get a reservation. Mm -hmm. And so like if I can't get a reservation, I will DM the restaurant <laughs> from my Instagram She account. literally did this two days ago, man. They no didn't way. reply. I swear. Mother uh, Wolf. I actually did ended they, up... Did they say scene? Oh, she called No, it, it doesn't say name. scene. I didn't even see it. Well, Mother Wolf, you guys should check your DMs. They probably like, bitch, we don't want you eating up in here <laughs> we anyways. We don't want you here. Bitch, they're definitely listening to the podcast. We blocked you. Yeah. Imagine they blocked me. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, what call? Honestly, She's checking touche. her DMs right They're literally now, like, what call? Yeah, they didn't read it. It doesn't say scene. They open it. Um, but it's hard to get, I'm, um, I ended up getting a reservation there. So did you, <laughs> well, Melissa Alice for, she has more, oh, no, we're not eating there. We're not eating there. We Somewhere switched else. to a cuter restaurant. I'm just kidding. I Wait, still where, eat where have you used your clout to get into? Casita. Okay. Mm. And I know you guys have used your clout to get into clubs. When? You're so mean. I'm just kidding. We do that all the time. We totally we, have. We, we've done that multiple times. 100%. You and do like, a, a bit even, of perusing you know around what? the it's front. I'm like, over here like. 
DMing anyone. Like we're not DMing people. No, you're I mean, I do for restaurants. No, no but now. like for the club, we're not doing that. <laughs> and sometimes, by the way, it doesn't work for restaurants. So it ain't like I'm getting my way every time. <laughs> uh, I shoot my shot. Not, I shoot yeah, my shot. shot. Sometimes I get, you know, bummed out and sometimes I get lucky. But like we're not doing that like to the clubs. No. You know what I mean? So like we're not ever, using our clout no. in that way. It's have more so you like ever held up your phone and showed your Instagram following. Never in my life. I, get something. No, I've done that never because in a club life. in Miami wouldn't let me in because I lost my ID and I didn't have it with me. Oh, oh that's so different. That's clout. And no. I, no. That's clout. Pulled, that, it's almost like famous hey, birthdays. Like I using up, famous hey, birthdays. That's what I pulled up. I pulled I up. I have two and million he, followers. No, no, I didn't show my meme <laughs> followers. I pulled up famous birthdays and I was like, that's me. This says my birthday. Like I'm not lying and he was like just go he was like you stupid go. we, don't fucking, we don't fucking care bitch no he wasn't letting me in and everybody was going you, that would have been trauma you were there in miami it was in miami yeah, i remember Ofra. This. <gasps> oh it was a fucking over trip mm-hmm. and i had to mm-hmm. use famous mm-hmm. birthdays and he mm-hmm. let me in once i showed I do him that now it looks oh like my a mango girl place. i ain't even cool. mangoes yes yeah, mango i wanted to be impressed i'm like as, as impressed as i am i'm not even close to 21 <laughs> Like I'm not 100%, even hundred percent. I'm not twenty two. I'm not twenty three. Like you're gonna have to let me in. We're on the other side. My hair's done turn gray. I'm on we're the on other the side other of this. Other side. We have gone through the mountain. We are in the valley. We are have in the you valley. Your clout to hook up. The complete opposite. <laughs> yeah, the complete opposite. The complete polar opposite. I've literally like if I find out they know who I am, I'm not hooking up. Mm. It's the com- It's like the actual polar opposite. Gotcha. I don't want people to know who I am if I'm hooking up with them. Yeah. That's very like, I don't want reasonable. That. Like, I don't want I fucking that. people to like. Same. You know, especially because like maybe because I also like literally do makeup for a living. But that's not what I do all the time. Yeah. That's like so I don't, don't want, want to think that I'm misrepresent like. Misrepresent yourself. Yeah, I don't want to represent myself in like any way. So I'm like, no, like that's like work me. Do you ever hooked up like, full glam? Me. I've never hooked up full glam. Never? Mm. Never once. I've never sucked dick glam. And I've always like thought about it. because I'm like, I feel like it would be fun. Definitely. I never sucked dick glam. Oh my God. I like imagine. I need it. I feel like I need to do it at least one time. Mm-hmm. Well, there's got to be a fetish, though. I mean, maybe not even a fetish. It's just like a some guys are some into people. that for sure. And like literally, like I was talking to someone who actually was w- wanted was that. like, yo, like if you like were glam, and like, I, I would still love you to suck my dick, and like yeah. me to like okay, and literally like <laughs> let's say like if you were to, like come, mm-hmm. I say that. I can see that if you if you wanted to do it on my face to like ruin my makeup. So I think there's like That's this like, like a... type of like kink to it yeah. in some way yeah. so it wasn't necessarily like oh I, he was like i like when you're pretty but i want to like mess it up gosh yeah. what are guys a lot of guys i've heard multiple you know times about? guys like like that fantasy but i think yes. they do it a lot in with like p-o-r-n yes they do it a lot in a lot that in corn. so they be, in, the, in corn. the corn so the corn. they build this fantasy off that because a lot of guys build their For fantasies sure. off of very corn. Corn. not healthy not healthy at all no right not healthy it's but not healthy see, i will say though like when that happened i i'm not gonna lie i did appreciate of it of course because, because so many people don't like it exactly because like it's literally always like the polar opposite where guys kind of like oh like i'm not really into like the makeup thing like literally this just happened to me like last week. Uh, see, this guy that you I, like, have dealt with, with this so many times. Like it's like literally part of like my. Did life. you see my tweet to you? I sure did. Come here, baby. Come here. And it, it literally like <laughs> just happened to me, so I was like, it's just like part of what it is. So the fact that a guy was like opposite of that was like interested and like actually, and you didn't take him up. It just never came up because I was never glam when we had went out. Mm. So like, I'm, if I, I'm sure like if I was glam because I glam for work, I'm not glamming to go to dinner. Yeah. You know, like, especially because I'm just like, that takes a lot of work and I don't want to do it. So um, I would have definitely done it if I was glam and he was there. I was like, for sure, let's try it's it out. It's not a fetish for you, though. It's not a fetish for me. Like, I don't. You're really, not feeling it. For me, it's like, and if, if anything, I'm like, why would I want to ruin my glam? <laughs> Girl, the time that right. You don't have to do the no, ruin part. Fuck. What if you just like. No, but like, even glam. sucking dick, I'm like, dude, but when your lips like, when you go like. like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Like, wouldn't it get everywhere? Absolutely. Laura, would it not get everywhere? Everywhere. Everywhere. Like, I'm and I'm not. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense. Mm-mm. Is that a wrap for today? That's a wrap. That's y'all. a wrap. Pretty dirty Christmas. That episode. was a great episode, oh, guys. Christmas. It's literally dirty Christmas. We yeah. really hashed out we played some dirty things. Dirty Santa. We played dirty Santa. We played our own version. We did. Oh, all right, guys. And that was it for today's episode. We love you guys so much. I'm gonna get to rate, like, subscribe. We cannot wait to see you guys in the new year. All right, we'll, we'll see you guys in that we'll episode. See you guys later. We Bye, love you guys. Peace.